beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed For one of you here, God is taking something out of your stomach. I don't know what that is, but I'm seeing something. You've been having severe pains, and the Lord is taking it right now out of your stomach. I command that devil to leave you in the name of Jesus, and I decree and declare that you are free by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Please go back to your seat very quickly. That Let me just speak over that lady. In the name of Jesus, don't worry, you, she doesn't have to look at me. It's not how I'm talking to. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit, that devil, I see you in the spirit, you let her go now. And you let her family go now. In the name of Jesus. And everything you have stolen, in the name of Jesus, let there be a sevenfold return. I command recovery. I give an instruction. I send that word in the realm of the spirit. They must testify. In the name of Jesus, let there be recovery right now. 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 And for someone I'm praying to, God is bringing recovery to your life. I'm stretching my hands right now. Let's just let this anointing, just since the Lord has brought the grace for recovery, I declare people have lost things, but by the anointing, you are recovering things right now. You are recovering things right now. It will surprise you. Some of you don't even know what you have lost until it comes back. I decree and declare, recover time. Recover opportunities. I say it again, recover time. Recover opportunities. Recover time. Recover opportunities. Please be seated. The Bible says the B part of Second Chronicles 2020. In fact, let's look at John chapter 11 first. John 11 verse 40. I just want to challenge us in the area of believing. God wants to do a quick walk tonight. But I don't want us to just come and waste our time. John 11 and verse 40. And waste our time tonight and then not receive something. You know, I made a vow before God. And every time I continue to vow it that... I, I keep saying, Lord, anoint me to a point that nobody needs to encounter me two times to be changed. Just once, it's okay. That once, once, that if you ever travel from anywhere and come here tonight, that even before the meeting, you just begin to rejoice because you know that if it is God that brought you here, except even if it's a herbalist shrine, you won't come and go back the same. Are we together? I'm a student in the school of the anointing. 
I have been studying this all my life, but it's amazing, amazing the dimensions and the possibilities that are surrounded in this mystery called the anointing. I repeat, you are not a blessing if you are not anointed. If you're a man of God here, please find a way of crying to God that he should put something definite upon your head. Otherwise, lock your church or lock any uh, out, outlet or what because you are totally wasting God's people's time if you are not anointed. It takes more than good intention to bless people. There is something from the realm of the spirit that must come upon people that you are in this meeting now and you know not that after the grace you are just believing that oh let's see what happens no you can know that this one i know that the anointing to solve my problem is this you can know you can know it's true a man doesn't have to tell you he's rich before you say he's rich as he's talking you look at him that's how it is with the anointing you can know you are in the place where the anointing to solve your problem is there. And Jesus said unto her, Say yet I not unto thee, listen, that if thou wouldest believe, he says, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Have I not said to you that if you believe, you will see? that if you believe you will see there is a relationship between your faith and your experience listen very carefully it's just an exhortation tonight that if you believe you will see that means whether you see the glory of god or not it is still there hmm. whether you receive the breakthrough or not the breakthrough is there whether it will be featured in your life is a different thing altogether are we together now whether you have a car or not there there are still cars in in a showroom now as we talk is that true whether you you have a house or not there are still houses empty and available so it's one thing for that reality to be available but it's another thing for that reality to become your experience are we together everything we so desire brothers and sisters is available in Christ it's a reality in the realm of the spirit but there are systems in the kingdom that can capture that reality and make it your experience here and now that reality does not bless you for as long as it remains in the realm of the spirit your prayer and your desire is that the word becomes flesh so that it dwells among us then we can behold the glory for as long as it is still in the realm of the spirit it doesn't profit you what good is it if you keep having dreams and see yourself rising and then it never manifests open doors in the dreams close doors in your experience lifting in the spirit or whatever visions you're having but in the physical nothing seems to happen the bible says if thou wouldest believe you will think this is a very little expression if you will believe truly it says you will see my god that means i can stand here desiring a lot of things in my life and god is saying all those things that look far you can the word see here does not just mean view it uh -uh. it means capture it let it be your experience if you will believe believe and second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20 guides us on the dimensions of believing second chronicles 2020 and here's what he says jehoshaphat stood and said hear me o judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem two believings here the first belief notice is a big b believe in the lord your god that's the first dimension of your believing believe in the lord your god to believe in the lord does not just mean to agree that he's alive mm -mm. to believe in the lord your god number one means to be convinced and convicted 
about who God really is and what he's able to do. You don't just sit down and casually believe. Believe is a product of, of a contemplation that happens in your spirit. By the way, let me advise you, for a very long time, we preachers have been telling people that believing just happens in your spirit. Believing must happen in your spirit, your mind, and your body. The entire tripartite nature of man is involved in believing. I guarantee you, believe alone with your spirit, you will never get anything. Your mind needs to get to that state too. Your body needs to participate. It's a well-meaning teaching, but it's not a complete teaching. You believe God, spirit, soul, and body because your entire tripartite nature has a role to play in the manifestation of the promises of God for you. Believe in the Lord your God. Notice, it didn't say believe in Jesus. In fact, it didn't say believe in God. Believe in the Lord. When the Bible uses the word Lord, it's a very interesting expression. Because the, the word Lord there means, is, is from the word Adon. It means master. It means owner. It means manipulator. Are we together? Yes. Believe in the Lord your God. Get to a point by the Spirit where you are convinced that he's not scamming you. Get to a point where you are convinced. It's a point of unbendable persuasion that you believe that if God says he's going to change my family, truly he will. It's amazing how many action movies we act in church. You will think we really believe God, but we don't. Some of you, as you are seated right now, if I ask you, do you believe God can change your life? You will say yes. Just because your head was nodding up and down doesn't mean you believe. Are we together now? It's a revelation. Man of God, do you believe in the anointing? Yes, I believe. But it's not true because it's not showing. The Bible says if you believe, you will see. That means if you are not seeing, there is something wrong with that believing. Are you getting what I'm saying? You have to find a way of believing this. Conviction. Conviction that the spirit brings that you have gotten to a point of unbendable persuasion that everything God has said concerning my life now regardless of whether that experience listen you don't believe it when it manifests it should be obvious when it manifests you believe it to make it happen not because it has happened it is your faith that will transport that reality from the realm of the spirit I sit down and just tell you, oh, someone is going to shout, for instance, under the anointing. That's a stupid thing. What if it doesn't happen? So what is the, what, what gives that audacity? It's suicidal for a man of God. Your, your reputation and your ministry is at stake. You don't get up and just start speaking and saying things and talking nonsense. I hope you know if it doesn't happen, people will say, you see, this is how proud people end. But there is a level of conviction. Conviction. Are we together now? If I tell you, Sam, to walk and come to me, it is because you trust your legs. Are we together? If I ask someone on a wheelchair to stand up and walk to me, that person does not trust his legs yet because of the obvious situation. So he won't stand up and he would try. But if I ask you to come now, you are not, you don't have any experience with your legs that should disturb you. You must get to that point of persuasion. You see, God is not a politician. God was not voted into power. It's not like there is somebody that supervises him in heaven. He does not have a disciplinarian. Nobody rebukes him. Listen carefully. We're talking about the God of the universe. We're not talking about the God of Christians. We're talking about the God of all flesh. God is not a Christian. He is the father of lights. The owner, it belongs to him. God will not come on earth and go to the camp of Christians. The whole earth is his own. Whether you believe in him or not, you face the consequence 
of fighting the creator but he's the god of all flesh has thou not heard has thou not seen the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of the earth he doesn't sleep he doesn't get tired doesn't get weary so when that god looks at you with the same power of creation and says i want to change your life then we now sit down and say oh god that's exactly what my director told me and god said you have brought me in the same category with your director who is only 45 years old you know how old i am go and find out if age gives ability god still qualifies to be god even if it's just by age let's assume that the older you are the more powerful you are god is still god by that reference believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god get to a point of persuasion and say lord based on my calculation it will take five years for my family to get this miracle but there's something i know about you that when you decide to rend the heavens and step over a man's situation one month becomes too much you see listen as you are hearing what i'm saying you are saying amen but something within me is saying you are not a apostle don't make a fool out of yourself are we together now if a jimmy is a landlord of an estate and you are trusting god to save 30 million to buy a house and he looks at you and assuming you didn't know he was a landlord he just says kai i want to bless you and someone just whispers to you and say that's the landlord the awareness that is a landlord does something say ah sir good afternoon I, i'm not even because you are aware something just opened you up to the potentials in him that he can compress a 10 years journey in a moment this is the god i serve the bible says the word of god is quick shout quick not slow it may look slow until god decides to shake himself and say now let me lift kenny now let me lift this and you are surprised even you the benefactor there are sides to the equation of greatness no man can explain it's a mystery you just know i prayed i did this from a to b to c i don't know what happened there i just know that a finger manipulated this are we together believe in the lord many believers don't believe god many believers it has to be in this order believe in the lord your god believe what about him believe that he is god you can believe he's a deity that's not the information required for your greatness you can believe that he's not a man satan too is not a man many other spirits too are not men so there's nothing special about believing that he's not a man you must believe that he's the mighty god and you must believe in his ability I, I don't know how to make you see this look let me tell you when you focus on god and who he is and his might you will turn back and see the possibility of your situation shrinking before him and then you will be brought to a point where you will agree lord you can change my life i believe lord you can wipe my tears there are many faithless people just because they are holding their bibles and speaking what is written there they think they believe no it's a conviction lord i trust you lord i believe you that's why he left us the word of god to help us believe him the word of god is a commitment from god to you is 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 a manifesto is to give you room to vet him that means if you have any fears as to why you should not believe him he still leaves the word are we together believe in the lord your god by doing so you shall be established so he says be convinced and convicted about who god is and what he's able to do second timothy chapter 1 and verse 2 says but i know whom i have believed he says i am persuaded that he is able 
I am persuaded that he is able. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please God. Listen, it says, For he that cometh to God, like you have come now, it says you must come believing that he exists and then that he is a rewarder. Let me see how many of you came from far. If you came from far, let me see your hands. How many of you honestly had quite a stressful journey coming? Now, do you think, please drop your hands, thank you. Do you think that God will watch you live wherever you heard the, someone came from Ghana, someone came from Maiduguri. So within and outside this nation, people coming, there are many people connecting from around the world. Do you believe if you were God, will you sit on your throne and watch someone almost have an accident? And for 12 hours, come and sit down. Some of you have been here probably since 12 in the afternoon or 2 or 3. And then as God, you sit down and then say, okay, share the grace. May God bless you. I don't know the God you gave your life to. But the one I gave my life to is a serious God. It's a very serious God. We are used to people playing games with our lives. God is not just a trustworthy God. He is too serious that he gave his son to die. And then he will play games with your life? No, sir. He's a rewarder. He's a rewarder. Let me tell you something. You've heard me say it. If you ever find yourself coming here to Koinonia, that you arrive here safely, alone, is a sign that half of your challenges have gone. Um, now, uh, you would think I'm saying it just because I'm the man of God here. You decide to come here and see the attacks that will arise. Money that you are saving will disappear. All of a sudden, every to some of you, the morning to come, you are not even yet sure whether you will come. It's a spirit. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Sister, believe in the Lord your God. My brother, believe in the Lord your God. Concerning your admission, believe in the Lord your God. Concerning the baby, I know it's five years, but believe in the Lord your God. Believe. Concerning God, turning your life around. You need more than a job. You need breakthrough. You need favor. If you get a job of 50,000, you are still backward. Because you should have been working for the past 10 years. So now, the issue is not just a job of 50 or 100,000. That God, can you shift my, what would have been the backlog of the past. Shift my 10 years to enter my September and wait for me there. That I can enter September and I, I, it will look as if September is 10 years put together. One of the greatest ways breakthrough comes is the manipulation of time. Read your Bible and see what God did with time when it was time to visit people. He made the sun to stand still. He made the sun to go backward. Are we together? He did something to time. When you lose time, you have lost everything. Believe in the Lord your God. Number two. Please, let's go back to um, Second Chronicles. He said, believe in his prophets. Listen carefully. His prophets here doesn't just mean someone that prophesies. His prophets here doesn't even mean someone who is not fake. That means someone who is real. That's not what he's talking about. He said, believe his prophets. So shall ye prosper. To prosper means to do well. He says, believe his prophets. His prophets are not just people who prophesy. His prophets are not just real men of God. <clears throat> Listen carefully. This is where we miss it. You must learn this. His prophets here are not just men who are doing the biddings of God. It has nothing to do with maybe someone being real. His prophets here means the person sent to you. Listen, listen. The Bible, um, come, Sam. 
Come, darling. Look at this. I'm Elijah. And I'm going to the house of a widow of Zarephath. Are we together? Don't you think on my way going, I'm going to meet other people who have problems? So I meet a gentleman who has a problem and I just greet him. How are you? Where is the house of the widow of Zarephath? He's shaking me but doesn't receive anything because I'm not sent to him. I'm a prophet. I probably met other widows. Elijah probably met other widows lamenting and he said, Oh dear, you mean it? You mean this is how your life is? Sorry, eh? And he kept going. The same way Jesus saw 10 lepers, the same way Jesus would see people and touch one and stand up and go. There is a man sent to you. There is an anointing sent to you. Listen, I know that many people will not like me for what I'm telling you. Not every anointing can bless you. Generally speaking, by opening your heart, I mean at the anointing a portion to change your destiny. It's true. Hear what I'm telling you and then God will bless you. There is an anointing, a portion. There is a grace designated. Let me tell you, happy are you the day you come into the environment where the anointing that was sent for you. Do you know, let me tell you this, and I tell you this honestly, my heart is passionate when it has to do with blessing people. But I have met people in my life that I just prayed for them just for praying sake. But I knew in my spirit I wasn't sent to them. Of course, you won't tell them so they don't feel bad. But you know. But I've seen others. I could even wait for them to share their challenges because I know. I know. The anointing sent to you. So believe his prophets. Are we together? There were many widows in Zarephath. Elijah was looking for just one. Have a prophet. What of other women? <clears throat> I love them. I can pray. I can intercede. May God bless you. Do A, B, and C. But I'm looking for a woman of Zarephath. Where is she? Finally, you find her. And it's clear she's not even ready for you. She's doing something else. The prophet would have been angry to say, I spent time to come here. You don't even know what you are missing. I'm on my way going. But because he was sent, he had to stay. His assignment was to change her life. When you find the anointing and the prophet that God has sent over your life and your situation, let me tell you, you will watch that anointing rubbish your situation in the, as if Satan does not exist. It's, it's not just, this is where we have a little challenge with many believers who just say, the most important thing is God. Yes, you are right, but you are wrong. The most anointing is anointing. What is there? What is so special about this man of God? This is what I'm teaching you now. People are sent to people. Even the word of God is sent. He sent his word like a messenger. Meaning until that word is sent, you can stay there. But when the word comes, like a messenger, angel Gabriel left other believers around earth and was directed to one person, Daniel. All that fight for 21 days in the heavenlies. He would have been angry to say, I'm going to someone else. Mm -mm. He said, Daniel, I am come to give you understanding. Are you the only one? I am come to give you understanding. Jesus is appearing by the road. Saul is on his way to Damascus. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says there were other people with Saul. God would have been fair enough to at least give them something. And then he isolates one person and discusses with the person. The rest just fall down and don't even know what threw them down. They just got up to clean themselves and say, Kai, now what is all this one now? Whereas one person has that encounter. Sent. 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 The word that changes my life. Sent. I have had encounters with sent words and sent prophets. And my God, did my life change. Tonight, let me tell you, if you can believe, 
this he said believe his prophets i know you are a businessman i know you are educated i know you are smart but there are many equations in this life that cannot be solved with pen and paper they are solved from the realm of the spirit it's only the result you receive here are we together now believe in his prophets so shall you prosper write this down please his prophet here is the vessel sent from him to you you must first acknowledge that this vessel is sent from god to you and one of the ways that you can help yourself to believe the prophet god has sent to you is investigate the dealings of god with that man don't just believe for nothing you have a right to investigate the dealings of god with that man what is so special about this man why should i believe him why should i take the word that he's bringing seriously every true prophet of god has a track record of his dealings with god investigate the dealings of god study the track records of his results i think it's unfair if you just yoke people to believe you just like that no give them room to study the track records of your result and find out whether the results are worth your believing how do you believe his prophets open up your spirit to receive both his grace and his instructions don't just receive the grace alone instructions many times believers miss it because we miss instructions very subtle instructions sometimes very ego stinging instructions like you were seated here now and then i just said everybody shout jesus you know i don't mean to embarrass your intelligence you don't sit on a seat and shout jesus you've been singing a song before you came here you there was jesus more than 10 times in that song you kept shouting jesus jesus lover of my soul and nothing happened and here you are sitting and a man is saying just shout jesus once if you don't have this revelation you can sit down and say please what is we are not children here what is all this nonsense he told naman go to jordan wash seven times naman said me jordan there are clean rivers somewhere and a small girl said you are the one in trouble if you don't go and wash you can go back with your lepros two scriptures and then we'll pray exodus chapter 14 and verse 31 and israel saw the great work which the lord did upon the egyptians he says and the people feared the lord and believed the lord and also what his servant moses god performs mighty things and creates that track record not just so that he alone will be believed god also wants the vessel he's using to be believed the bible says they feared the lord they believed the lord and they believed his servant they believed the lord and they believed his servant you believe the lord you don't believe his servant you may not get any miracle exodus chapter 19 and verse 9 exodus chapter 19 and verse 9 and the lord said unto moses look up please lo i come unto thee in a thick cloud that the people may hear when i speak with thee and believe thee forever that means i can talk to you without the cloud but i keep that cloud as that evidence so that the people can trust that it is me you are talking to i'm i'm going that far because i don't just want the people to believe me alone i want them to believe you too because their receiving is dependent on their both their believing me god and their believing you 
a servant it says and the lord said i come in a thick cloud so sometimes when god does some of these signs and wonders is is not really just for him alone when god does some of these things oh there's a lady here and someone is shouting another you know what god is doing he's using those things it's, it's a similitude of the cloud to help you see you can call somebody and say who is grace or who is um, victory and you can say this is just guessing i'm sure it's just guessing but how do you guess that someone in this direction do you guess that one god does some of these things sometimes purposely to just address the the leftover of unbelief because you see some of us are coming from different christian experiences some of us have been our minds have been messed up by all kinds of theology all kinds of philosophies some of us have had bad experiences with all kinds of men of god prophets and whatever and chances are that when you come like this usually you will just add the man of god to the list of all the people and hope that he's just a better version of them and god says not so and he uses these signs to speak to you that you are in mount zion are we together it's amazing how a little miracle can just readjust your own belief immediately readjust your own belief while the devil is trying to lie to you can your life be changed all of a sudden the the power will touch the person near you this is somebody you shook hands with turn to your neighbor and say this and that so you know that the person uh, the person can be acting It's a very difficult thing for believers to believe God. But I think it's even harder to believe a man of God. And people have all kinds of justifications as to why they shouldn't believe men of God. But regardless of what your justifications are, if you believe God and don't believe the vessel, you will be established but you will not prosper. Are we together? Your prosperity is what gives evidence to your establishment. You must believe one word from God can turn your life around one prophetic word can turn your life around all these strange spirits that oppress people they don't just go because they are told to go no it takes the anointing I was talking with one of the protocol uh, people when we were coming down here and I told him I was shaking my head and then I was talking to him and I said I am amazed driving down to come for the miracle service now i said i am amazed at how people in africa and nigeria trivialize success i am shocked at how people um believe that success is about luck it's amazing how people can see a huge sacrifice and trivialize it and just make it look like i think these people are just fortunate is that true I, I, this were my contemplations while i was coming listen there's no result that happens in this kingdom by mistake now including the testimony you are about to have that gentleman from ghana he did not just press this thing and found my name no 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 the anointing that is sent with that word works day or night are we together now there are many testimonies just like his that gentleman you see that now someone will tell you i was sitting and i had a dream how about those who buy new phones brand new phones brand new phones and then they open it and see koinonia messages inside how do you explain that A new phone not new uh, what they call that thing not new memory card I'm not talking about new memory card a new phone that you bought it tear rubber you are the one who opened it then the first thing you see inside is a message that answers your question who, who now who, how do you explain that listen listen we live in a world that is not natural it only manifests the spiritual naturally the, the 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 earlier you got this the better my brothers and my sisters hear me all that you see in this world is only a reflection say reflection the real control room in this our world 
is the realm of the spirit whoever can ascend this three-dimensional realm has the advantage of victory nothing happens that is physical are we together one of the reasons why many of us are seated here tonight among the many miracles we desire is finance oh nigerians finance you want to talk a good news to any honest nigerian right now in this day and age as we transit into the ember month no matter speak about their spiritual life yes speak about their love for god passion new depths but please don't ignore that other one just even if it's in passing just say something about it finance many people want to see financial breakthrough many people are working and they are trusting god for breakthrough and remember the strange thing about finance do you know why listen i'm not talking about money we're going to pray shortly do you know why many believers are poor because in the kingdom finance is warfare money is not just an instrument to live well it's a weapon see listen oh dear what's it ecclesiastes 7 let me just talk a little you was uh I, I didn't plan to say this but ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 let me show you something may god give somebody deliverance right now read it read it one to read for wisdom is a defense uh-huh and money is a defense just stop there so we know from the word that both wisdom and money is a defense now look up when the bible says you have a weapon what is a weapon something you use to both defend yourself and you can use also for attack is that true if you give me a weapon like a shield i use it for defense and the bible says one of the many weapons money is one of them and the bible says those weapons are not carnal the word not carnal means they are not man-made but my brother my sister this thing is man-made it was made by cbn that means this is not what god is talking about because this is man-made but the bible says this weapon that he calls money is not carnal he said it is mighty through god that means there is a spirit are you getting what i'm saying that means this thing is only the body the same way human being is called currency anything that moves is a living thing and that means there is a spirit inside the body to move it you are only seeing the body where is the spirit that moves it that's why it can enter a house you didn't ask it to go and it will go out by itself it can enter your account and still go out because it's warfare the bible says, believe is prophet there is something they can do that can do something to the many things including this this is what we chase all around because we think this is paper no this is not this is paper yes but there is a spirit behind it and this thing respects that spirit this is what you need to understand so the spirit can instruct it to leave you and it can leave no matter how hard working you are you can receive salary and all you have is part of this left and it can be instructed to leave you it will, you know it's going it's going out of your life it just touches your hand and disappears because the weapons prosperity is warfare it's not just about money to buy car and houses money is a defense it can defend the gospel it can defend a man and the bible says all those weapons they are not carnal so if you ever see this looking for anybody naira does not look for men something makes it come I, please are you getting what i'm saying if you can understand this alone at least even if you don't know how it comes you already know that it doesn't come by itself these are the mysteries that surround our kingdom you ever see anybody prosperous in the kingdom
my brothers and my sisters listen to me this is a spiritual realm you don't have to be a christian to believe it you just have to be alive this is a spiritual realm animals know it plants know it's a spiritual realm that's why you throw a seed in the ground and you cover it you don't leave it open you cover it because what happens there is none of your business now you just cover it and watch it happen and it grows to become a tree that you cannot push down a little seed when you planted it it had no roots the bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind nor how a woman how a child is formed in the womb of her that is with child you know and all of that so also you don't know the way of god the lord brought you here tonight because there are spiritual possibilities listen that are beyond the realm of the eyes are we together most times we believe only what we can see and understand and explain unfortunately in this kingdom there are things that you may not be able to explain when people come here to testify you see me sit quietly and i watch and many times i'm in shock as i watch the immutability of god's power in the lives of people the same way you are going to come up here to testify yes it's true what suddenly happens to you and then you have someone just call you and say we are sending you to us to get a job Hapa, my brothers and my sisters i've told you again and again that everybody who helps you has relatives too who i need whatever makes you to leave them and come to you is not normal that you are sitting and someone says i'm thinking of you who do you think you are no i want to help you i want to bless you you step into prepared blessings blessings that you are as sure he said master we have toiled all night and jesus looked at them you know how to fish by waiting in the night and allowing the fish to come and rest on your net then you quickly pull it in the morning that's how you were trained but let me show you another technology cast your net to the right side master but we only have left and right <clears throat> this one is not brain work now this one is not one plus one i told you one plus one plus god is equal to whatever he says the answer should be one plus one is two but one plus one plus God is not equal to two. It's not even equal to 10,000. It's equal to any answer that God puts there. So one plus one can be equal infinity. God said so. Are we together now? I'm saying this to build your faith tonight so that you will believe that God is able to do anything at all when you look at the way you got to hear about this ministry and the various ways the holy spirit worked with you till you came today you should know already that there is a god in heaven are we together now brothers and sisters i present to you this same god who can change your life who will change your life i'm saying this so that you don't just sit down and be clapping for others wow this is how god has changed this lady's life wow we are soon going to pray you must have a desperation and say lord i didn't come tonight to clap for anybody i left my journey wherever lord i know that you will visit me and i hold on to the horns of the altar while you are sitting the devil is telling you remember tomorrow by 12 your rent or embarrassment say satan go away and before the presence of god tomorrow is too far god can how many minutes does it take to do a transfer I believe him yes i do i believe him i believe him i believe him i believe he can change my life in one minute i want you to just mention everything you are trusting god to do tonight go ahead lord i believe you for this i believe you for that Those outside, whether you are standing by the wall, whether you are standing in any of the overflows, and those following online, release your faith. Don't be distracted. 
any spirit that distracts you in this moment now is of the devil it's a luciferian spirit let your spirit and let your attention be open yes lord i believe you mention it don't say it's too big that's the devil too big compared to what pray believers lord i know you are able you are able to take away this reproach from this family talk to jesus even if you find yourself crying just continue to speak lord you are able change this situation turn my academics around lord turn my finances around lord i'm in a situation right now where only you the god of heaven can arise turn my ministry around lord i'm confused i don't even know where to go right now i don't know whether to go to the left or to the right but i receive grace pray are you praying kill unbelief as you are praying don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time god of heaven It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and by supplication, with thanksgiving. It says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, I'm here tonight because I want you to turn the situation of my family around. Lord, there is a death sentence over my family, and you have to arise for me tonight. Lord, there is a death sentence over my life. Lord, I've been delayed 10 years of my life. I am backward 10 years. There has to be a way you restore me, oh God. Lord, I'm trusting you for the fruit of the womb. The gentleman who came here seven children lost including twins lord i'm trusting you to refire my spiritual life something has happened to the anointing upon my life something has happened to the glory upon my destiny i'm here tonight oh god turn my life around turn my life around something has happened the signs and wonders are no more like before the revelation and the grace and the utterance is not like before i'm here for a turnaround oh god my prayer life has died i'm here for a reawakening i no longer fast i no longer pray i don't know what has happened to me i cry for help One more prayer point lord i believe you and i believe your servant i believe that anointing and i believe in its ability to turn my life around walk on any unbelief in my heart oh god and take it out tonight go ahead and pray every spirit of doubt every spirit of fear
strong anointing here already. Isaiah 61. Please participate in everything we are doing. It's going to be a very fast one, but let your spirit be open. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord, the same Lord that you are instructed to believe, hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Now listen, this is why he anointed me, because there is an agenda. But that that agenda cannot be achieved just by a well-meaning heart. It takes more than sincerity to bind up a broken heart. To proclaim liberty. Now I like this one. To proclaim, to declare that the time has come for you to walk free. It says, and the opening of prison. My brothers and my sisters, there can be men physically walking, but they are in prison. Next verse. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. It takes more than a handkerchief to comfort men. It takes the anointing. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Now this is the part I like. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees or oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified so the end of it is for god to be glorified but not in the current state no so anything in your family make sure you carry your family along in this miracle service don't just stand alone to receive I've told you if you are blessed and your family members are not blessed, you are not free. You are not free at all. If you are the only one who is alive and everybody is just dying like a chicken, you are still not free. Are we together now? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let me give us one last prayer point. Father, every desire I brought here tonight, I'm not walking back with it. Lift your voice and pray. Every. Let your faith rise as you pray. Shalakata barakato. Talato shabra hasikete malakata. Shakata kata barakata barate kete barakush. Every desire. Visit me, O oh God, completely. The God who touches my spiritual life can touch my finances too. The God who touches my body can touch my womb too. Lord, I insist. I insist for completeness.
praise the Lord. Please lift your hands. I will pray now. Now, the people I'm going to ask to come out, if the anointing comes upon your life right now, then the Lord... Okay. I want to pray a prayer now. Please be your brother's keeper. Whether you are inside or outside, it's because of what will happen when I pray. The anointing will come and people will act out what I'm saying physically. That's why I'm saying you should. You should just hold them. Are we together now? The Lord is asking me to release speed. Listen, speed is a very powerful thing. When that anointing comes, you will start running like Elijah. That's why I'm saying hold them. Right now, I stretch my hands inside outside online and i declare spirit of the living god there are men and women here who have been delayed and speed must come upon them right now i declare at the count of three one two three receive that grace i command speed speed right now speed let the hand of god come upon you the bible says the hand of the lord was upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I command speed, receive it. It's coming on you now. Some of you is coming on you for the sake of your family. It's not just you alone. It's coming on you for the sake of your family. Let the chains be broken. I release speed. Speed. In one month. In one month. I'm prophesying that in one month. What has not been done in five years in one month receive that grace i energize your spirit man speed when speed comes upon a family you will see it in the result when speed comes upon your spiritual life when speed comes upon your academics i'm praying again the angels that ride upon the chariots are bringing you speed. I release that grace. Let that anointing come upon you. Speed, speed, in the name of Jesus Christ. Speed. now now listen fire in the spirit has many significance fire this fire is a mystery it was a reality borrowed from the realm of the spirit that we use here fire does not run away from any element fire is the only thing that all other elements must fit whether you put metal the metal will be hot wood will be burnt rubber will be melted there is nothing that stands fire other things can stand water but not fire are we together now he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire when the holy spirit listen is moving to break chains he moves as fire do you know why because fire destroys every other thing yet it is not destroyed it is not solid it is not liquid are we together it looks like gas but it's there you are seeing it you can't hold it you can't cage fire you can't lock it up it's not restrained by anything the holy ghost is going to move right now in this place as fire listen this fire i want you to bring those people out this fire you see will bring an end now believe me when i tell you this will bring an end to many captivities many captivities at the count of three i just want you to shout with me that word fire that word fire and many of you will be surprised in the name of jesus where sam there's a song in my spirit when we sing that song 
What's the name of that song? Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Am I correct? So you know what I'm talking about. So you sing that song by the time we pray. In the name of Jesus, I'm stretching my hands right now. Spirit of the Lord, you seek to reveal yourself as fire. That consuming fire. No power and no spirit. Even spirits can be burnt by fire. In the name of Jesus, I declare that any operation that is not of God at the count of three by the mystery of the Holy Ghost as fire let there be deliverance let there be refining let there be the breaking of chains are you ready now one two three bring them out fire the mystery of fire I declare any chain if there is anyone under the sound of my voice and any chain has held your destiny by the mystery of this fire I'm speaking by this apostolic and prophetic grace I decree and declare to the heavens at the count of three may that fire locate chains in this place now one two three chains be broken chains be broken Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Sing below, blow, blow, blow like a mighty Spirit of victory, Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Cover us with your wings. Hallelujah, Madam. Please clear the way for me. These women, tap these women for me. One, two, and the other person, three. Please come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. You are welcome. Your first time here? I came here last week. Okay, you were here last week and you too? Um, is, this the, is this the mama I asked to come? I think it's someone else I saw, but when you are here, we'll honor you. But I want to pray for you. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing witchcraft in your life and your family. Where are you coming from? Mama? Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, man. Look at me. I know you believe in the power of God. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end every oppression of darkness. Mama, I decree and declare, in one month, your life will turn around it to surprise you. In one month. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Where is that man that came from my Duguri? The one who came to give a testimony. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying I should tell you that the oppression is over. Look, I've seen fire. It's leaving my hands and it's coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is that man? We have to hurry up. There's, there's a lot to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I decree and declare over your life. That fire. The Lord, it looks like you are an elderly woman, but the Lord is going to use you mightily. What you are receiving now is not just a miracle yet. You are receiving an impartation. You will begin to know the Holy Spirit in a very intimate way. Hold my hand. Spirit of the living God, you seek to use this dear mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will know the Holy Spirit in supernatural ways. His fire will come upon your life and he will use you in a very mighty way. In the name of Jesus, come. You are the man that came from Eduguri. What is this? My CV. Your CV. You are trusting God for a job. And who is this? Hold it. Do you believe that if I pray for you, you are returning with a job? Yes. You believe that? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing upon you and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let there be that miracle. You go and return with your job, sir. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare that the oppression of darkness comes to an end. A complete end over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray right now, but let me just... Um, the Lord is showing me, okay, sometimes this time, time, time just affects you. But I'm praying right now and I'm seeing letters and I'm seeing on the letter, congratulations, listen. And I'm seeing that this is a symbolism of breakthrough. Listen, let me tell you, except God is not God. If this anointing that I'm seeing touches you, then you and your family must stand here and testify. I'm stretching my hands right now. Lord, you are showing me this. In the name of Jesus, this is a symbol of breakthrough. I stretch my hands. Every family and every person that must receive of this grace. I'm stretching my hands now. You must testify. I release upon you that grace. You must testify. I declare whatever it will translate to, whether a job, whether increase, whether promotion, I command it, I declare it, I decree it. In the name of Jesus, I command it, I decree it, I declare it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hold the hands of this lady. This one. Hold the hands of this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands right now and I declare it's time for your family to rise. I'm speaking it by the spirit of prophecy and I decree and declare every embargo that holds onto that family, I command that it's gone now. In the name of Jesus, it is gone. I curse the power of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards me. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. And there are many of you, there is no grace on the works of your hands. I look and in the spirit, I don't see the blessing of the Lord working. That's what is responsible for hardship. It's not like you are not employed or you are not doing this. But in the name of Jesus, I stand representing the spirit of God. And I stretch my hands back to you. 
I'm declaring still that ministry of fire. Many of you will be surprised. Whatever it is you are involved in, God is about to bring grace upon it. I stretch my hands right now at the count of three. May the fire of God come through your hands into your life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever has not been working in your life, I force it to work right now. Receive that anointing. I force it to work now. Inside, outside, I force it to work now. Those following online, I pray and I speak whatever it is that you are doing. I declare the blessing. I activate the blessing upon the work of your hand. I take away hardship from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take away hardship from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yabone nakawo Sujata ne nakawo Sarkin salama Sarkin aljana Yabone nakawo Yabone nakawo Sujata ne nakawo Sarkin salama the Lord is opening the eyes of people into where your blessing is I'm seeing fire Still, this fire thing coming on the eyes of people physically you will feel fire burning and ideas the Lord is birthing things is is a birthing in the spirit I release that grace right now in the name of Jesus Lord all those who must see show them oh God where their blessings are stationed so that they stop dilly-dallying around life I decree and declare receive that grace the grace of an open eye the grace of an open vision may the Lord show you where the resources of your destiny is may the Lord show you where your helpers are in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. This, the prayer is for everybody, eh? But this particular prayer now is for ladies. The Lord is showing me destinies that must be changed. Outwardly, you are beautiful, you are good looking, you are virtuous, you are wonderful. But in the realm of the spirit, it's not what we are seeing physically that we are seeing in the, in the realm of the spirit. A man with an ugly situation sat down at a gate called beautiful. The gate was beautiful, but the man's life was nonsense. There are many people you can stand. I'm, I'm saying everybody, but this is ex specifically for our sisters. And it's not just the issue of marriage. I'm not talking about marriage alone. That there is a fragrance, a presence that can ooze from you and bring favor to your life. But many of you physically, they look at you and you look like you are beautiful, you are this, you are that. But in the realm of the spirit, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. That, that force, that veil must be torn. In the name of Jesus, ah, I'm seeing a strange grace that is coming on many people, especially our sisters. I declare any wrong identity that you are given in the realm of the spirit that is not a reflection of your true identity, any exchange that has been made in the realm of the spirit so that physically you should be blessed, but in the realm of the spirit you are carrying another person's destiny right now by the fire of the holy ghost sisters may that anointing come upon you now may that grace come upon you now i declare anyone's destiny here that has been changed and switched and manipulated in the realm of the spirit so that what you look like is not a reflection of what your destiny is i change it now in the name of jesus 
I change it now in the name of Jesus. Listen. A man's destiny can be exchanged. It's true. Have you not read in the Bible where kings slaughtered their children to prolong their own lives? A man's destiny can be a shadow of something else. You know you are alive, but this is not your life. You know that you are living another person's script. I'm saying it again. In the name that is above all names. Sir, come. I don't know you, but I want to pray for you, sir. God is going to turn your life around. And you see this prayer that I'm saying generally, this prayer, sir, is for you. You are a shadow of your life. Of your is your dad. Where did he come from? From high there. From high there. From high there. Daddy, I'm going to pray for you. This is not just about your leg. Huh? This is about your destiny. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare Shalos Capra Hasegete Barandos Capria Shata. Ente scalabra hafas katabarakoto supriata katash. Mande cresco da hashabari katoskada. Natoskada, natoskada, mashada kata. Empre keteko toko toba sada balakata. Shapres ketekete balakata shapriata kata. In the name of Jesus, anyone who has exchanged your destiny, sir, I decree and declare restoration now. You are the daughter hold my hands i pray for you look at me you are a wonderful lady huh but bad things continue to happen in your life huh you are a nice lady are you married i'm married well with that one. don't worry i know why i'm saying you get what i'm saying now yes, sir. because what i'm seeing this is a spirit you are a nice lady but people continue to misunderstand you yes, sir. Yes, good sir. things and people look at you in the eye of many people now you are you are a devil you are a terrible lady, yes, but it's sir. not true. Yes, you have a very beautiful heart. This is what happens when... Do you know that there are spirits that make sure you are misrepresented in the eyes of people? A ministry can be under this captivity. No matter... The Bible said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. You can be nice to somebody like it's happening to many of you. And people end up fighting you. You bought something for them. And they end up, you are saying, what is this? I pray for you and the person says, so you are trying to say I'm the one who is not spiritual. It's a spirit. My dear, I want to pray for you. Huh? This thing is not just about your marriage that is, you know, things have gone wrong. You are a wonderful lady. Huh? Favor will come close to you, but then never enter your life. Yes, sir. What yes, do you sir. do? I'm working in a security. Uh, you are a security? Yes, sir. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. My you are running your masters. Yes, my dear, do you believe God can change your life yes, now? Yes, sir. I believe, sir. Hold my hands. To appoint unto them. You see that? To appoint. This one is a prophet's reward. It's not just that God is saying, do this. There is something in the spirit called a prophet's reward. The possibilities that accompany an office, I declare in the name of the God of heaven whom I represent, may your life change this night in a way that will surprise you. Listen, I lift you from this security work you are doing and I put you in a position that befits your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Daddy sir, I'm praying for your daughter and your presence. This lady will come here. And give a testimony that even you as a father who said this one is the Lord's doing. Are we together now? I declare it, I decree it done right now. Hear me. I don't care whether you are working or not. If you are not in the rightful place as ordained by God. I want to pray a very serious prayer. Because there are people, the work you are doing is a nonsense work. That work is, it has robbed your spiritual life. It has destroyed your relationships. 
because of that work no man can see you to marry you demonic work that closes you everywhere i decree and declare i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace if you are in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny i take you out of that place and i shift you to the place of destiny i shift i shift you in the spirit i shift you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen if the widow of Zarephath was not where the prophet met her that's how her miracle would have gone it matters that you are in the right place at the time god sends your miracle some of these things in the name of employment they are traps of the devil i'm not saying it's not good to work don't get me wrong but many of them are traps from the peace of hell there are people whose spiritual lives have gone down from heaven to earth simply in the name of job are we together nonsense job that on sunday you're on your way going to church your boss calls you and says you must come and resume what shall it profit a man if you gain the what is it is that the whole world how much is the salary lose your soul for peanuts i declare again in the name of jesus may my god relocate someone here by the power of the holy spirit may my god relocate a destiny relocate a family if you are not in your assigned place i shift you tonight in the name of jesus christ Do you know, listen, we are going to pray for the sick shortly. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, he will make sure they get visa. Ah, Pastor Jay, it's good to see you. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, they will get visa to UK. They think it's breakthrough, but they have gone away from their place of destiny. God spoke to Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah entered a boat on his way to Tarsus. And because of that wrong journey, people lost their properties. People lost. He entered a boat and made people to start destroying their lives. They were almost dying because a man was not in sync with seasons. Let me tell you this. It matters that God meets you at the place where your blessing is waiting for you. The devil can relocate people and, and destroy your life. There are many Nigerians outside this country whose destiny is ordained by God to be in this country. You see them roaming around like armed robbers around the world in the name of abroad. And there are others whose destinies are abroad and the devil will make sure that he will peg them somewhere. And Isaac sowed in that land. It's not just that he sowed. The place he sowed matters. Isaac sowed in that land. Abraham, take now thy son and go. Go to a location. That's where I will meet with you. God is everywhere. But destiny does not meet with men everywhere. You must have the discernment to understand your season of visitation. I repeat this. You see me speaking like this. I'm speaking by the spirit. There are some of you. It's an instruction from God to you. Don't be careless about your life. Look at how many Nigerians. You go to embassies. And see Nigerians. They want to go abroad by fire by force. Ask them why. They will say greener pastures. I've told you. Greener pastures is not in any physical location on earth. Greener pastures is in the world. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Not when you went. Jesus instructed them and said, Do not go. Go only to the lost tribe of Israel. Don't go outside that camp. Because salvation was for the Jews first. If they went to the Gentiles, they would have received a root shock. Direction. Direction. Please, in one minute before we pray for the sick, lift your voice and say, Lord, direct me. He said, The Lord is my shepherd. Direct me. There is a way that cement right unto a man, unto a woman, unto a family. Direction. 
your blessing is not just generically in US or UK there are people suffering in every nation it takes the leadership of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord now two things we are going to do very quickly and i know you have been doing this but please i want to plead with you to do it with understanding most times we do things in this kingdom without understanding that's why we are not blessed are we together we are going to pray for the sick now don't walk out here if you expect to walk back the same way come here convincing knowing that god is going to touch you and while we are doing that um, your prayer if you don't have your prayer request please write it quickly write it quickly and in case your faith you came here with a faith that is weak you did write some vital things you can add it quickly those online you can send you can send your prayer request very quickly. Now, we are going to do this very fast because our time is gone. Thank God Pastor Jax is here. Are we together? Now, overflow. Listen, let's not be rowdy. Overflow one outside. We'll walk to your projector stand. Overflow two. You'll also walk to your projector stand. Overflow three walk to your projector stand those who are in here you are trusting god to touch you to touch your family members you can make your way and come and stand orderly in front here now please quickly quickly let's do that very quickly while we are doing that please if you have written your prayer request i want you to wave it and ushers you may find a way of splitting yourself very quickly let's let's have ushers if the ushers are not in your pr department you can join them and then let's make it very fast. Make sure everyone's request um, is obtained, please. For those online, I want you to believe by faith. If you are still here to write, just write it. Ushers, please. There are hands all around. Let's help out. Protocol can also help so that we'll make sure that everyone's request. If it's a text on your phone, and you don't have the opportunity to write it down while I'm praying, you can just connect with it. It's not just a ritual. Believe in what we're doing. In the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace and this corporate anointing. Pastor Jax Ejimi, there. Um, Pastor Alpha, Benga, Overflow, one. Pastor Femi, Promise, Overflow, two. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's go there and let's trust God to touch the people. God has anointed this ministry and he has given us the grace to be the extension of the hand of Jesus over your life. And I want you to agree. I want you to believe. The worship team will lead us in a moment of praise and worship while we pray. And please listen. Except the people are prophesying to you or they are talking to you. Just a touch. I want you to believe by faith. Are we together? You don't have to start giving them an explanation. This is why I'm here. Don't worry. Just connect by faith. If there is a word for you, the word will be given to you. Otherwise, just believe by faith. Father, we thank you. You call this place Koinonia and this meeting a miracle service. Lord, we pray for those online and those within. We decree and declare. Let there be a free flow of the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Lord, let this touch not just be the touch of men. Let it be the touch of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let every one of these people come and testify here in the name of jesus is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am
Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Go ahead and cause the spirit of unbelief tonight. Pray. Cause the spirit of unbelief. Cause the spirit of unbelief. Cause the spirit of unbelief. We cause the spirit of unbelief. Cause the spirit of unbelief. Let's say it right in the name of Jesus Christ. Do hard for me to do. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Every king speaks according to his might. Hallelujah. Before a king will make a statement, he will first look at the strength of his kingdom and find out whether he's jeopardizing the reputation of his kingdom or not. The Bible says God looked for one who was greater and finding none, he swore by himself. Meaning, if God found someone greater than him, he would have humbled himself and sworn by that person to show you the immutability of his counsel. Please, I'd like you one more time to challenge unbelief. Just follow me tonight. Hallelujah. Challenge the spirit of unbelief. That thing that makes you think it will be like it has always been. Pray. It will not be like it has always been. This is 2015. It will not be like it has always been. Hallelujah. One last scripture and then we'll sit down. Psalms 126. The spirit of faith rise in this place. I am that I am. Is there anything? When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Verse 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. This is somebody's testimony tonight. It says. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Here's a testimony from your enemies. Then said they among the hidden, although we don't like them, but we cannot deny that the Lord had done great things for them. Hallelujah. Next verse. It says, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Verse 4. Turn again our captivity. In other words, bring this prophecy to pass. Bring it to pass. Are you ready to pray? Lift your voice and pray. For yourself and your family, turn around this situation, oh God. Let men know that this situation can change. That genotype situation, that marital situation.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you by faith and in advance to walk up to 10 people and tell them I expect your testimony at the end of this meeting. Go ahead. If they don't believe, pass them by. Number four. Number five. Come on, give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated quickly. I welcome you to our first miracle service of 2015. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has declared that this is our year of the rain. The rain will pour down. The rain will fall. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. The rain will fall. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The rain will fall in such a proportion. Look, let me tell you. Many of you, before the first quarter of this year comes to pass, people will see it evidently. They will know evidently by the Spirit that something has changed. During my retreat, I told God, kill unbelief in my life. Kill it. Kill it. I'm telling you, if your faith can connect to God, there is absolutely nothing God can do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just share a few things. I welcome several people who have come from far and near. Thank you so much for coming. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. I want to just prepare our hearts. Please, the meeting is already on. When we come for miracle services like this, I'd like us to be very expectant. There are many things that, like Mike shared, um, there are so many things that God will be doing and is already doing. For many of us, all we need is just an adjustment in our mindsets and our belief system. For some of us, what we need is a head-on collision with the power of God. We don't need counseling. We don't need discussion. Your situation requires a direct miracle. Hallelujah. For some of us, you need the corporate anointing to step into your situation. And for some of us, you have done everything you know to do. There is an advantage of coming into a meeting. Let me tell you the difference between, of course, honor to all those um, streaming online compared to those streaming online where only a, or following online, where only a drop in the water. There are so many people. But there's something about an atmosphere. Please follow me. You see, certain things may not be possible in your atmosphere right but when you come into certain atmospheres i believe that we know this by now when you come into certain atmospheres the advantage is that an atmosphere can make what even your faith could not have connected to be possible in your life are you getting what i'm saying very important the the servant of the prophet would have prayed and fasted for ages and his eyes would not open but because he was in the presence and atmosphere, one prayer opened up his eyes. Are you following me now? Very important. So there's something about the atmosphere. I want you to know this. Especially for those seated outside. You may feel that you are not in the auditorium. It doesn't make any difference. All you need is the atmosphere. Praise the Lord. This year, I'm determined like never before to make sure we get results in our lives. Praise the Lord. No matter how much you love God, when there is prolonged delay in the manifestation of the promises of God in your life, it will discourage you. 
is God speaking to someone. The consolation of the Christian experience is that eventually we will come face to face with what God has said. There are some of us, if you obtain one genuine miracle, one, just one, one genuine miracle, it will go a long way to answering a lot of questions in your family. Is that true? Just one miracle. Look at our dear sister Mary Ann. And she stood here trying to articulate the goodness of God. Right? That you are seated, no money for nothing. I'm sure a lot of people will say, is it by force to marry? Why don't you go and relax? But with one alert, a million naira comes. That's a hard-working graduate salary for 10 months. Look, let me tell you, the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. There are laws. I've told you again and again. Our confidence is upon the strength of what he has shown us. See, the apostle said, we have not taught you cunningly devised fables. Look at all our school of ministry students. It's not a coincidence. Dominion, I repeat, is the resultant effect of your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom the bible says it has been given unto you to know to know to know how do you explain a crowd that comes there are people behind the windows everywhere there's no poster there's no publicity material is it charm is it jazz everybody say mysteries look let me tell you brothers and sisters there is what you can hold tonight that will make the devil look like it does not exist in your life. Yes. The advantage of Satan is the mysteries of the kingdom that is held unto and the ignorance of the saints. Right? And so the knowledge that he seems to know, laws have been manipulated that cage the people of God. Hallelujah. That's our confidence. You have won the victory. That's why we make our boast all day long. Hallelujah. He's won it all for you. You have won it all for me. Sing it one more time with faith in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, he won the victory. Hallelujah. your life when you desire a miracle when you desire a breakthrough in your life the first way into that miracle is an encounter with the word of God every true miracle every true breakthrough every true blessing begins with an encounter listen to me please pay attention to what I'm teaching you you've been suffering for too long Pay attention. Pay attention and get out of this thing. There is a way out. Others are testifying. You are the only one who is left. Pay attention and get out of this thing once and for all. There is a way of escape. There is a way of escape. The Bible says the labor of the fool weary yet every one of, of them because they do not know the road to the city. Not because there is no road. There is. There is. Your prayer point is already somebody's testimony. It means God is able. Hallelujah. If God has changed SS to AA and you are here seated with SS, is, is it such a big deal? Is it such a big deal? Or a job? Beyond your wildest imagination. So pay attention. An encounter with the word of God 
is the starting point of any miracle and now I, I will explain to you when we talk of an encounter with the word of God we are not just saying you read your Bible because you've been reading it for a long time we are not just talking of um, reading your Bible and, and looking at it wow I found this no an encounter means something happens to you there is a light that leaves that word the ministry of the word of God is the first way out of any predicament in life. Please get me. The ministry of the word of God. There are some of us here right now we are trusting God for jobs. And I know that if all of a sudden I announce now and I say our daddy prophets in this place, there are some of our, our fathers scattered around great influential men our fathers our mothers people who with one call can give you a job i say all those who want jobs come and stand here you greet daddy many of you will already be jumping you say i god bless koinonia but but do you know do you know do you know do you know that i told you about the illuminati and the secret societies right by the privileged position of being called into an apostolic ministry it affords me the opportunity to study other religions and study a lot of false activities of darkness not necessarily to pervert my faith but so that i can bring the body of christ into accuracy look up please don't let any man fool you i was teaching someone today i think it was pastor femi listen every one successful person who has been empowered by the devil please listen to me Everybody who has been empowered by the devil had an encounter with something that represented him. Are you getting my point? I shared with you about the 2,300 ancient manuscript that they found that it had magical powers upon it. That if you only took that book and just read the title alone, fortunes will begin to follow you. There are people on earth today with those evidences those secret societies recruit people they select people specially every year and it's by divination they select them so when they select you they get across to you you will not know how but they will call you they'll say you have hereby been invited your life is about to change they don't ask you whether you believe them or not they give you access to read some of those materials you step out immediately and you will see calls coming alerts coming opportunities look at me if you ever think prosperity is just about job or business you are joking there is a spiritual agency that makes things work in the natural are you getting what i'm saying this this is what this is what i've been crying about for years that the body of christ get it's not just about physical things there is a spiritual factor that makes things work. Is somebody learning something? An encounter with the word releases something. People just read a book, right? And something comes upon them they cannot explain. All of a sudden, they come out and you are drawn to withdraw money and give them. Just like that. All of a sudden you stand up and begin to advocate their case. What, what sort of life is that? Look. They that know their God. They are the ones who will be strong. It's not about age. Listen. It, it's, not, it's not even entirely just about education. And I have a great deal for academia and, and all of that. But let me tell you. There is a reality that predates our existence. And if you do not know it, you will be a victim in this life. Psalm 82 from verse 5. The Bible says, they know not, neither will they understand. I have spent my life studying the laws of the spirit. I have literally committed my life to explore these ancient mysteries. What was the secret of ancient men? What made them mighty? What made them great? And I found out that every mighty man, then and now stands upon a spiritual advantage there is a pedestal in the spirit that sponsors their audacity 
Is someone hearing what I'm saying? You don't just tell somebody be healed and he gets healed. Brothers and sisters, human beings are not idiots. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I can't just look at this lady and say your story will change and then it changes. Come on. I prophesied as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. See, this is the dynamics of miracles. I'm explaining to you the inner workings of the miraculous. It happens because all that you see is not all that there is. This realm is a three-dimensional realm, physics tells us, and is limited. The realm of the spirit has other dimensions, meaning there are other possibilities beyond the scope of our intellect. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. This is the realm of wisdom that kings reign by. He said, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. He said, with me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. Tonight is not just for you to receive a miracle, but to empower you. That when you make a statement, there is an understanding that forces that statement to come to pass. Hallelujah. When you talk to people about finances, the first idea that comes to their mind is business. Is that not true? What business? Okay, real estate. Okay, stocks. Okay, this and that. I've said it again and again. Again and again. That I don't care what business you do or what job you are having. You will struggle forever until there is a spiritual factor that is at work. Are you getting me? Yes. The Bible says you have an unction from the Holy One. He said that unction can teach you. Isaiah 48 from verse 17. He says, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and lead you in the way that you should go. There is an anointing. This heat and run trial and error life must end tonight. We can walk circumspectly on the strength. Listen, you can be 70 years old and have an error about life for that long. Are you getting me? A whole nation can be wrong. Our society, we transfer knowledge upon the strength of what we know or what we have been told. When man ran away from God, he said, Adam, where are thou? Genesis 3. He says, the Lord had the talking spirit, the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. And he said, Adam, where are thou? He said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you? Meaning your life is a summation of the informations you have gotten and you have believed. But could it be that what you have held as truth all your life may not necessarily be accurate? Taught by well-meaning people, there is the life of the kingdom and there is the life of this world system, cosmos. We are not the same. It says you are in the world, but you are not of the world. There is a plane of reality you must function for. Hallelujah. So number one, an encounter with the world. You need an encounter with the world. The word of God does three things among many other things. Please write. Number one, the word of God shows you the basis upon which you will receive any promise. The word of God shows you the basis the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Everybody say legal realm. So you don't just, you can play crooks in the earth realm here, but not in the realm of the spirit. Everything is done legally and legitimately. If you ever see anything manifest itself, certain laws were applied. Praise the Lord. So the word of God shows you the basis Remember in our, our series, uh, the teaching, Give Me This Mountain. I teach about the spiritual dimension of life. That there are gates on every mountain. Everybody say there are gates on every mountain. When you get to that mountain of breakthrough, there are gates. It will not just open because you are a Christian. When Jesus in Psalm 24 was about to come out from the grave, the Bible says there were gates. The psalmist saw it. 
It said, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye ancient doors. Did they open? No, sir. They asked a question, who is this king of glory? Give us the basis of your audacity. Upon what are you standing? And he says, he is the Lord, strong and mighty. The one who just defeated darkness. And the gates opened. So when you stand to receive the miracle, oh God, change my story from SS to AA, there will be a question in the spirit. Upon what strength? That's the parable that Jesus was giving. The parable, right? Of two men who built houses. One upon sand, the other upon a rock. Two houses were built. But what supported them became the distinguishing factor. Praise the Lord. The basis. It's important for you to know the basis. Let me tell you very straight and uh, in, a, in a way that does not require any confusion. Everybody writes, the finished work of Christ. This is the basis. This is the reason. It is the one master factor. The finished work of Christ I love Jesus I love Jesus many of us need to meditate on what he really did for us do you know that it is on the strength of what happened on the cross the way access the veil has been torn and it's given us access access revelations 5 revelations 5 Verse 9, very quickly, please let's hurry up so that we can do much tonight. Revelations 5. And they sang a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. It says, For thou wast slain and you have redeemed us unto God. How? By thy blood. That's the basis. The substitutionary work of Christ. I told you, you can get our teaching the speaking blood i told you blood is a key in the spirit is that true blood is a key in the spirit everybody's blood can open certain doors but not every door that's why when you go to a herbalist he will he will calculate by divination and tell you the kind of blood that will open the gate you want so the blood of jesus is the greatest because it is the master key there is no door that it cannot open. It says, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, verse 10. It says, and has made us unto our God kings and priests. And as a result, we shall reign. Everybody say dominion. He has given us access to dominion. Access to dominion. Praise the Lord. So when you study the word of God, it gives you the basis. So when you stand and say, I'm tired of this cancer, or I'm tired of this barrenness, it's been five years, I've not been able to take in. The realm of the spirit will ask you, so upon what now do you believe you will take in? And you tell them there is a key that has opened that door. There is a key. The blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Everybody say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance. One more time. Say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance. You're not just saying it after me. You are confessing. Say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you get married. That's the reason why the devil must leave tonight. That's the reason why the genotype must change. That's the reason why every prophetic word that comes upon you must produce result. That's the reason why as many of you standing outside, although you are far, but the ministry of that blood can still speak. Hallelujah. I believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. Not just because preachers said the blood is powerful. I have a revelation of the significance of the blood. Revelation is powerful. 
it produces true faith in your spirit so that you are not believing blindly you are believing upon the strength of an understanding So the blood of Jesus is your basis for receiving breakthroughs. And when we stand up to pray and we begin to challenge the gates of hell, you don't stand weak and you are wondering and say, do you know nobody in my family has crossed this barrier? You say, well, I couldn't cross it, but that blood created a divide and I must walk past it. Look, let me tell you. The Bible says, let me show you something. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. Let's look at Isaiah. Isaiah, help me, Holy Spirit. Isaiah 41, verse 21. I saw this scripture in 2004 and it changed my life. Isaiah 41, 21. Everybody read. One to read. Look, God is speaking like a judge in a law court. Are you getting me? He said, produce your cause. He said, bring forth your strong reason. Give me a scriptural basis to bless you. Justify your qualification to step into a new level. You don't say that just by jacking yourself. You lift up the blood and say, this is my basis. This is my basis. Upon the strength of what your son did, he has given me access to health. He has given me access to the blessing of the Lord. Praise God. Number two. An encounter with the word of God brings you to agree with God. It brings you to agree with God. We call that, listen, we call that alignment and transformation. Alignment and transformation somebody come please look for that scripture for me with god all things are possible right somebody come anybody watch this an encounter with the word of god remember i told you in our teaching yes um last week right the reality of what spiritual laws i told you that no man can activate any law by himself is that true a spirit entity either the holy spirit or another spirit must work with you so in the realm of the spirit partnership is the order of things you cannot do anything alone either a demon spirit or the spirit of god must assist you so the bible says you are yet to find it matthew Matthew 19, 26, media. Are you getting my point now? The problem with many people is that we are far apart. This is where God is standing. This is God's mindset, right? He says, as far as the heavens are above the earth, so are my thoughts, my ways. Is that true? So this is God standing. And he's saying, come and join me. But she's standing here and saying, Lord, I need you to help me. And God is saying it's against the law. You have to find, come, I supply grace. You take advantage of that grace and come. When we are together, so the Bible says with God. Come, with God. All things become possible. So without God, nothing becomes possible. So that cancer with God becomes possible. You see that? Are you getting my point? That admission with God. The Bible says with God. So koinonia miracle service with God will produce result. The, 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 this is the mystery. This is the mystery of impact with God. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed. Why? For God was with. The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them. This is the mystery. Divine assistance coming into God's realm. You no longer become an enemy of your own destiny. 
and we call that alignment and transformation that's one of the major ministries of the word so the word of god begins to advocate a superior mindset higher and greater than the ideology you've held on to it may be cultural it may be intellectual right it may be societal but when the word of god begins to judge you it shows you the excellency of god's own mindset and it's up to you to say lord although this is all i believed my all my life for instance there are people who are here with certain terminal diseases and they have been told they've lived all their lives believing they didn't even come for the miracle service for that specific case to be healed they came for something else right because according to their mind it has not yet become a possibility that god can address that issue but when he looked at the tomb where lazarus had been buried he said roll away the stone prove that i can raise lazarus back by you going to open up that case that you have closed praise the lord i believe god i'm a believer i truly believe him proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 says trust in the lord with all your heart it says lean not on your own understanding the next verse says in all your ways not some he didn't say talk to him he says acknowledge him you acknowledge a man by giving him preference he says and as a result he will direct your path next verse says be not wise in your own understanding he says fear the lord and turn away from evil hallelujah very important so with god this lady may be weak unable to do anything but with god with god she may be broke suffering nothing is working but all of a sudden she comes and she finds out that there is he that scattered and yet increases. There is he that withholded more than his meat and tends to poverty. She begins to learn the ways of God that he can open up the heavens. That it is the blessing of the Lord. Not your business. It is the blessing. The blessing makes everything you do prosper. That's why it says whatsoever he doeth prospers. So it's not about what you are doing. It's about the spiritual factor that supports what you are doing. So with God, with God, she suddenly becomes powerful. All of a sudden doors of favor open up to her because she has chosen to leave her old mindset and come to God listen to me tonight the first miracle you need to have is to give up on your ideologies and say Lord I'm tired because your life is a reflection of your ideologies I don't care what the situation is I told us last week that your environment will eventually become a reflection of what your belief system and your ideology he said let this mind Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 let this man the word let there is permit permit this man please i know that you came from kaduna state and kaduna state there may be a way you thought about in your village i know that you came from from the east and there is a way that they thought i know that you come from the west i know that you come from katsina tonight will you choose to become a citizen of the kingdom by adopting the ideologies of the king subscribe to a new government every government has an economic system every government has a political system every government has a welfare system if you have been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more shall your heavenly father but that law is only operational for the sons of the kingdom hallelujah the word of God brings you into alignment. Listen, when I begin to study the word of God or when she begins to study the word of God and she finds out that there is an ideology that she has that fights against the word of God, you will be foolish to argue with the word of God. The word of God predates our existence. It has been tried through dispensations. The word of God is a description of his character his operation with man and i told you that the efficacy of the word transcends genesis 1 is beyond that it predates genesis 1 i told you genesis 1 is not the first creation we've, we've settled that right 
Job 38. Those of you who are just coming, this is Koinonia. Get the series. Hallelujah. There, there is a lot of creation. Genesis 1, uh, Isaiah 38 begins to give us how the foundation of the earth was created. Praise the Lord. The question I'm asking you is, I know you want God to bless you, but could it be that the devil that needs to go out today is not the one in your village? Is the one that has stayed in your mind like a stronghold. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To what? The pulling down of strongholds, casting down every yazar, imagination, and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ, and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. Praise the Lord. So, we have been given a poverty mentality as Africa. We have been taught that until you are 25 or 30, don't think about finances, don't think about blessing, don't think about empowerment. And you are told that you are too young to carry the power of God, or you are a lady, you shouldn't carry the power of God. These are the ideologies that cosmos markets to us, but you must refuse it. Say, I refuse. Shout it, I refuse. I refuse. Mm. You must refuse it. You must refuse it. Who told you you were naked? Who told you you were naked? I honor the doctors, but do you know that there are many people who, are, who have several sicknesses, but it never affects them because they do not have a medical report to validate it. You went to check headache. They said, my brother, this thing is more than headache. You mean you would have died now? We have a lot of doctors here. Doctors, I love you. Praise the Lord. But now when you check and they tell you, huh, do you know that your liver is almost in fact you say you you mean it hi from that time your liver starts paining you physically right and then the doctor tells you you have two weeks to live all of a sudden somebody says there's an opportunity god is lifting us they let him lift you there i'm dying i believe the report of the lord I believe the report of God. See, listen. You don't see with your eyes. You see through your eyes. There is a spiritual agency for sight. You only see through these physical eyes. It's not what you see with. They are just the physical components that enable your true spiritual eye to see. And Paul prayed that that eyes be flooded with light. Praise the Lord. So we need alignment. That's why you can pray for people. Pray for them. Lay hands on them. Do whatever you want to do. Did you know that sometimes you finish praying and then the people walk right back because their mindset betrays what God wants to do in their lives. That's what happened to the nation of Israel. Right? Everything you have told Moses we will do oh. After two weeks, they say, Kai, a, a delegation comes and they say, Moses, we, we need an explanation. Go and bring Baal. Make something for us that we can see. This mysterious God who comes with smoke, we don't know this one. Please, make something we know. They limited God in the wilderness. A man's mindset can limit God as mighty as he is. I refuse to limit you. Number three, the word of God, an encounter with the word of God shows you your part of the deal. It shows you the part you have to play to commit God to a performance. Never forget this. There is a part that you have to play, brothers and sisters. Every promise in scripture requires a partnership on your own part. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. It says, If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day. Right? And then it talks about um, you being exalted above all the nations and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If there is a condition. Isaiah 119. If ye be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of your the land not if ye be hungry and desperate if ye be what willing and obedient. 
There is a condition. There is a condition. There are always conditions. So an encounter with the word reveals to me my part of God's prosperity package. Lord, you want to bless me. What is my role? Right? I want to step into levels of the anointing. The word of God shows me. is See, reading the word is like walking in your promised land. It says walk left and right. See everything as far as your eyes have seen. So, read, studying the word of God is like touring your promised land. And you come back and say, Lord, as I read, I found this and that. And God says, all right, here's the condition. Everything is yours for a taking. You can enter a restaurant. Immediately you enter the restaurant, you see a lap of an agri chicken and you start smiling. But you came there with 100 naira. There is a condition. You want to be a possessor. You want to make that thing become a present reality. There is a price tag. Nobody stops you. There's no policeman to stop you. But you can watch it like a museum. And salivate. And watch. Right? And nothing happens. You may be 30 years. But a little baby will come with his father. And he say, mommy I like this. And whatever he likes. Keep giving it to him. The container did not refuse to open. Your part. I know you are laughing because I spoke about food. But get the revelation. Because the issue in your life is more than food. Praise God. Oh God, change my story. God says, come let me show you your part of the deal. He said, God, I don't want you. Are, you have died for me. Mm -mm. Listen, listen, listen. Making the word of God work in your life, making that which he has done to work in your life will require a participation on your own part. Please understand this. Praise the Lord. Are we following? So these three things. Tonight, as you are seated here, there are some of us, the reason why certain levels of breakthrough have not come into our lives is because we have not been able to support our claims in prayer with a basis. You have, you have always every power challenging me. You better leave. Because of what? Why should they leave? Do you know what brought them in the first place? They were there before you were born. So I came to Koinonia. Every demon, I'm tired of you. <laughs> That's not what drives them. You, you don't, they don't go because you are tired. 38 years, that man was lying down at a pool. That wicked spirit did not say, Kai, 37, 38, oh yeah, let me allow you, you have tried. You would have remained there forever. In five minutes, five minutes, meaning time does not change anything. Light is what changes things. It will change tomorrow, you are wasting your time. Arise and shine, not because you are tired of sitting, Isaiah 64, thy light is come. Are you getting blessed? So there are some of us here, what you need is to understand a revelation of what Jesus Christ has done. You think the reason why you may get everything is because you are bold or because you are prayed. It's not that. There is a revelation. The blood of Jesus. For years I heard Ren had Bonke talk about the blood of Jesus so much. He, he equated blood and fire. And I didn't, I couldn't quite get it until I found out that blood was a key in the spirit. That's why every religion has blood as part of their component. This is the one factor that every religion agrees upon. Blood. Hallelujah. And there are some of us here, the problem is our mindset. God wants to bless us, he wants to lift us, but there is a mindset. Oh, I'm a lady. Oh, I'm coming from so so and so, I cannot even speak English. Oh, this and that and that and that. I've not even gotten admission. Or, oh, me, I just want a little this. Oh, I made that and that. Huh? Or, God, I want you to bless me, but it must happen through NMPC. If you are Lord, it must happen through NMPC. They limited God. You are asking God for a cup and he wants to give you an ocean. Hallelujah. That's the problem with the body of Christ. Our faith is what I call auxiliary faith. Faith that is standing on something. Tied to the neck of your uncle. So every time you say, Lord bless me, what you mean is press that uncle's neck until he responds to me. Your faith is not really standing upon the word of God. Your faith, every time you say, Lord, I, 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 I know you are changing my story. 
what you are simply saying oh lord i know my uncle will not sleep until my no 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 why don't you give him the option to bring the strategy and you say lord i don't care how it will be done i may not see wind i may not see rain but one thing i know because let me tell you your strategy is most of the time carnal but his strategy becomes spiritual when he gives you a strategy it may look foolish but that's the way he has chosen it right go around jericho that's the strategy oh i'm already ahead of myself the second way to receive a miracle or the second platform now first is an encounter with the word of god second is the ministry of prayer the ministry of prayer is part of the equation to receiving a miracle there must be the ministry of prayer it does two things number one prayer challenges the forces of darkness fighting against the manifestation of the promise in your life Ephesians 6 verse 12 the Bible clearly tells us that we are not alone in this world we have strangers who are trying to escort us every day every time wicked spirits stratified in different cadres right so you are always not alone the devil attempts to seek entrance into different dimensions of your life and given the opportunity he will wreck your life the goal to mock the testimony of god in your life praise the lord so there are giants on every mountain please don't let anybody fool you there are giants on every mountain if you get into a mountain and the door is already open somebody already killed the giant but there were giants there for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness in heavenly places the stratification of the demonic kingdom so between you and your breakthrough there are giants it takes the ministry of prayer hallelujah when you pray you authorize heaven to look into your situation because god is not committed to step into your situation without your asking him to genesis 1 26 from the day he said let them have dominion but God is supposed to know now, doesn't he love me? Well, it will not change. The bones kept staring at Ezekiel until something happened. Praise the Lord. You come for miracle service and you find out that as the word is coming like this, there are still people seated, oppressed of demons. Right? Some of these demons are hearing what I'm saying now. They are just shaking, but they are not going yet. Let's see if we will go. Must we really go? Yes. By the time we begin to pray we activate the energy the force right it's a force of compliance it brings everything to the obedience of Christ so that's why you need to pray you pray to command the forces of darkness that are stopping your access to bow number two this is an even greater reason why we pray Prayer reveals the exact and the unique strategy to bring the promise to manifestation. Please never forget this. When you pray in the place of prayer, God reveals to you his unique strategy for you. So you have walked through scripture and you have seen that God has told you that you are to walk in breakthrough. But now the Bible may not give you the nitty gritty of what to do in your unique situation prayer when you begin to pray the spirit of god begins to search the mind of god concerning your situation and the bible says how that he searches all things and he prays according to the will of god so you begin to pray and then the lord tells you okay now this is the strategy you are going to meet benga benga will introduce you to femi and femi will introduce you to prof that's how the miracle will come it is a strategy for only you somebody will do it and fail are you seeing why prayer is powerful this is this is am i blessing you in my opinion i think this is already a miracle for somebody i'm showing you the loopholes some of us have seen the promise you have agreed with god but the problem is the strategy in ancient times kings won war not on the strength of their army but the dexterity of their strategy 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 so joshua stood still and god began to give him the strategy he said joshua 
This is how we we'll throw this wall down. Walk around seven times. Did you ever see that repeated in the Bible? Because it was a strategy. Right? He told Gideon, take the people by the riverside and let them take water. Study the way they take water. You will use it as a separation. Strategy. Somebody has come tonight to receive strategy. Lord, how do I complete this house? You calculated your salary based on your salary to take 10 years. And God says, I can show you a strategy. The Bible says, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel. A wicked king slept in the night, dreamt and forgot it and was going to punish people for his forgetfulness. Right? And a man called Daniel. One of the greatest prayers that have been praying in this season is Lord's strategy. It is all about strategy. I'm telling you. God will show you something that does not make sense. But it's his strategy for you. Everyone will do it and fail. But it's what you will do. And you will walk on. Hallelujah. So you look at that business and you are praying. And God will say, uh-uh. My strategy for you is take that business out of where you are. Take it to another place. Isaac already knew he had the blessing upon him. But he needed a strategy. Right? That's why every time kings would fight, they would go and inquire, what is the strategy for this war? They will not use yesterday's strategy for today's war. They will fail woefully. And so they will go, should I pursue? And the Lord will say, this is how it will happen. Like in the days of Jehoshaphat. Put worshippers in front. Other times he said, walk around seven times. Other times he said, just be still. Get a stone and sit down and watch what I will do. Strategy. Question. The strategy you are using for your life now, who gave you? I saw another man do it, you see. He just went and started selling tomato. You see, it, it, God said he will bless you. But what drove you into it? I, I, a man must work. Don't stop those kind of demonic thinking. There must be a strategy. Oh Lord, change my story. I think I'll start selling shoes. Just like that. Just like that. The Bible says, as they began to pray, the Holy Ghost said, separate me Paul and Barnabas. If they were to choose, they would have carried somebody else. Right now, when we begin to pray, I am convinced that God will begin to reveal strategies for people. Hmm. Strategies on how to make the rain work. Some of you, listen, students, there are students here that all you need is one strategy. There is a course, everybody has told you this course, and you are face to face with that Goliath. You've been running away, but right, you are there now. You need a strategy. Hallelujah. There are some of you, maybe your project, a supervisor may be difficult, and God can give you a strategy. The strategy may not necessarily be a direct revelation from the spirit. It can be light. A one scripture imprints in your spirit as you are praying. Oh God, what do I do about this, my supervisor? Suddenly a scripture comes. The gift of a man makes room. You quickly go and package wine. Not to bribe the man. You are responding to a strategy. Ordinarily, he would have thrown you out with your wine. But because you are doing it as a strategy. You will laugh and say, why did you have to do that? What is even your name? You have been disturbing me. It's a strategy. You will see men do foolish things that don't make sense. That's what God told us. When, when we wanted to start giving access to our messages, I went to the Lord and the Lord told me, He said, make sure you do not sell any message. Keep the videos, give out the MP3s. That's the strategy. Right? You may do it for your ministry and you will lose a lot of money. The blessing God has tied for your ministry, you would, but, but it is a strategy. It's a strategy. When I said, Lord, what is the key to the publicity and the increase and the expansion of this ministry in terms of membership? God gave me a strategy. It's not a secret. Mark 1, 2, 3. You may apply it and it may not work for you. But that's what the Lord gave. And this is the mystery behind what you see. I'd like you, as you are seated, before we stand up to pray, in one minute speak to the Lord. What is the strategy? Lord, my family has been struggling over this issue for years. Every time they want to build, there is no money. What is the strategy? Please take what I'm saying seriously. One strategy can change your situation.
not just a strategy you read from a book one strategy there is an easier way of doing it that you have not seen it does not mean it's not there why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal in 24 hours by the strategy of the spirit he gave victory please pray God has shown you your destiny helper but he's not paying attention to you one strategy will answer the question pray God has shown you the business he wants you to do but as it is you try and try you need strategy it's not like you didn't hear God the ministry of prayer you have been reading and reading you did well in 100 level 200 level by 300 level you started moving back because you need to change strategy you need to go to his majesty to show you strategy 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 please pray for your ministry sister you don't need all the money you think you need what you need is a strategy from the spirit believe me you have tried every idea you know you have tried everything they have told you why don't you cry before god come on now pray koinonia reveal unto me the strategy my family is suffering there is witchcraft in my family they have vowed but my father will not listen what is the strategy for the deliverance of my family everybody in my family is an unbeliever but i've seen in visions and dreams that they will all be saved between the promise and the manifestation what is the strategy lord i've applied for job everywhere civil defense immigration everywhere what is the strategy hallelujah strategy the last thing i'll talk about when we stand up we're going to do a quick walk very very quick walk the last step towards the manifestation of a miracle is that you must take action take action i want everybody to listen to me carefully because god is about to speak to us in a very definite way now i hope you have been blessed so far take action there are two enemies of action that are found from scripture number one fear fear everybody say fear fear is a dangerous and wicked spirit there are multi-millionaires sitting listening to me now but fear has stopped them from taking action there are many families you would have finished building your house since not just a bungalow that will kill you there are people seated here if you took the step god told you last year you would have been feeding your family this year fear tonight i'm showing you all the things that there is work to do tonight are you getting my point everybody shout i reject fear oh fear does not respect age children fear adults fear great men fear macho men fear intelligent people fear right now africa is afraid nigeria is afraid many people are afraid the dollar is crashing everybody is afraid you don't know what to do right there's fear everywhere when the devil when god tells you get up and build the house this year that house must be built and all you have is hundred thousand and you calculate and you find out that the building will cost seven million and you're laughing you say god don't disgrace me let the people in the village not say i'm stupid take action listen the bible says this sign shall follow not go before you will never see the hand of god till you stand up and move this is somebody's this is a word from god to someone you have refused to move fear you wrote jam nine times you didn't get it god is saying this time you will get it you say i'm not ready 
I better go to the restaurant and eat food with that money. See that? Fear. Are we getting blessed? Let's look at two scriptures. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Take it high, please. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Please help us, media. Let's really hurry up. We have to hurry up. Because we have some prayer to do. Are you seeing the things that are limiting us? Truly, I am determined this year to see that every one of us has a testimony. If nothing changes in your life this year, then it's your fault. But as far as the principles that will guarantee for you to experience the rain, by the grace of God, I will do my best. For God had not given us the spirit of fear. Put your name there. Just that first clause. One to read. One more time. Praise the Lord. There are many of our loved ones. 45 years. Brother, are you ready to get out of your father's house? I preached a message in 2008. It was a classic. Come out of your father's house. Thought provoking message to challenge people to leave their comfort zone. There are some of us, 30, 35, 40, we are still a big liability to our parents at home. Or God come out and say, what I have now is 20,000. Come out. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have sown seeds, you are giving. Look, let me tell you, if I am a father, my, when my child gets to a certain age, one day, he will just come and say, young man, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessing upon you. Go out. Out. That's it. I'm, I'm very serious. See, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone this year. It's not just to say it's the year of the rain. Stand up and take action. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Change, change what you have been doing. Kill fear. Take action and die doing it. Queen Esther, God took her to the palace. God removed Vashti and brought her for the salvation of Israel. But when Mordecai spoke to her, her man is plotting against these people. You better go and meet the king. She said, ah, please, oh, me too. He's, he's, he's bring, they brought me here. Please, I'm not ready to face any embarrassment. And Mordecai said, sit down there in fear. Paraphrasing. Sit down there. When they finish with us, the Jews, they will now say, all of you in this palace, bring your bio data. And they will find out you are a Jew too and they will kill you. And she said, if I perish, I perish. This is the year some of us are going to say, if I, I'm writing that jam again. Is God speaking to somebody? I'm writing that jam again. This is the year. But I tried the business, I failed. You will do it again this year. Master, we have cast, he said, we have cast the net of, how did you put it now? Right? We have toiled all night. He said, nevertheless, I was going to get married. The person even did introduction. Later he called and he said he's not doing it again. And now one godly brother is saying, I'm serious. He said, you look like that guy. Stand up and take action. Otherwise you sit down and not get married all your life. In the name of Jesus, you will take action this year. Praise the Lord. There are some of us, God is speaking. Fear. Fear. Do you know fear puts people in bondage? more people die there are many sicknesses today that are as a result of fear and worry is that true what you are afraid of has not happened but you are you are almost dying from today now people have started running out of zaria for instance you can go if you want to go what I, <laughs> of course i'm not teaching you to be careless and just roam around but, but oh, come on now people fear everything you are sleeping in the night. You just light. Maybe it's the cloth you hung that just tilted in a way. Say, I, I don't like the way this cloth. Why is it tilting and coming back? Who is there? <laughs> Fear. Fear has made people to say yes when they would have said no. And they committed themselves into things you have no business committing yourself. Fear. One of my friend's father. Listen, true story. One of my friend's father, they would have been the earliest people to start pure water business in Nigeria. When God gave him that idea, it was in a full gospel businessmen's fellowship. Right? The idea came and he laughed. Thai water. Haba. 
who will pay for water are we idiots there is stream there is sun there's light there's stove to warm water and he refused to take action and certain people took action do you think those who took the action are, are crying now this year you must take a handkerchief as you are crying the movie are you getting my point you must challenge that devil you have not broken through certain barriers nobody has ever crossed to the university in your family now you finish secondary school for instance and you're about to take that step and, and everybody said just you have tried you got diploma in, in in software application are you not okay you are ahead yet every time you sleep you see a phd and the devil is telling you cannot move tonight we have come to call that devil a liar in the name of jesus christ say i will take action say i will take action that's right the second thing that stops action is laziness everybody say laziness my goodness our time is gone laziness very important proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 please proverbs 10 verse 4 and then later on we would look at proverbs 22 verse 13 media please don't forget proverbs 10 verse 4 there are some of us the demon that needs to fly out of our life today not jump out fly out and never return is that spirit of laziness that inertia to move forward some of us sheer laziness the bible says he become poor that dealeth with what you never stay around me and you become lazy i have zero tolerance for lazy people a young man of 30 years by 11 30 12 he's still snoring on the bed you will beg for bread for sure there is no amount of fasting that will change that if you don't change it there are many lazy people we like a wolf free things look let me tell you there is a place for diligence if you must see the rain fall upon you this year are we getting blessed he become a poor that deals with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent does what there are some of you you are experts at begging day and night you beg everybody right please bros i beg you get 5k help me next time sister sorry i'm just knowing you don't be embarrassed i need 2k you you degrade yourself because of this devilish attitude of laziness there are grasses in people's houses to go and weed there are things to do but you get up and believe you're a big boy big boy with nothing in your pocket you calm down don't try to look successful pay the price and be successful hallelujah are you getting blessed you must reject laziness there are some students you see how some students live you think you think that they are professors right 10 or 11 exams is in one week and you see the person just strolling with his boxers go and fetch a, 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 a bucket of water lazily he cannot even wait at the tap you turn somebody else's water drag himself to the bathroom come out 30 minutes later huh dirty boxers dirty singlets you can't wash it laziness all around you can't get up and sweep your room and some of our sisters are like that who do you want to marry tall dark and handsome he must be a millionaire you think god doesn't have sense he said do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man sows there are many people see look let me tell you sometimes you may see me you see some of the things we are doing and you just don't be deceived by this this ever water if you want it come and carry it there is it there is more than this are you getting my point first thing tomorrow morning we are leaving for katsina it takes work it's not just anointing it takes diligence please you need to talk to yourself and say this year the spirit of laziness i curse you out of my life curse you out of my life an assignment you can do now you sit down and say i will do it on wednesday you get zero right another assignment you get zero they just they they solve a question in class they say just copy it and get 10 marks they say i will do it later on 
look procrastination you must attack it this year hallelujah you are working in the office of your boss because you think you come for koinonia and the person you are working for is here it's no guarantee to be lazy i will fire you i employ you you are not doing what i employ in the name of jesus i will fire you and you will come back and you will hear me preach absolutely absolutely there is truly no food for a lazy man let me tell you the truth you must get up and and be serious about your destiny and work there are some of us this year you have no business with relationship if you are passing and you see any beautiful lady just say blood of jesus and pass because this year is a year to you your own reign is coming to give you grace to stand up no responsible parent will give a daughter to somebody who doesn't know where he's going are you hearing what i'm saying very important but i believe that as we contend tonight in this miracle service it's going to be a very fast walk for me i think this this is it happening to you if if we close right now i believe that you would have left with something many of us here belong to this category this laziness category right because social media facebook twitter has and 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 bbm has massaged our life of laziness something you can get up and do you see a lot of people just to walk from one place to the other you are taking a bike huh? laziness it's not like you are in a hurry for anything you just load your phone and sit down in the afternoon you are not working you are not doing anything you are a liability to everybody around you and you are just you are you are sending yarrow boys as a student for instance to go and buy you mr biggs four five thousand they bring everything you lie down with phone that you force out of your father or mother and you are making calls in the daytime even a worker is not doing that you ping your life out and the person you are pinging is in the office making money you are there struggling the day you call him he stops responding to you please don't be a liability to anybody this year whoever has been ignoring you is because you are becoming a pest rise up and begin to be hard working and you will become friends again are you hearing what i'm saying especially for the brothers brothers say amen. amen let me talk to you for one minute before we start praying this year please please something must change there are some people sir five years six years no job not because they they have never taken their cv anywhere yeah, but my uncle said it now that uncle said it's wicked You came to stay in your friend's house. When you stayed in his house, he was a student. He graduated, served, and is working. You are still staying in his house. He has gotten a job. You are still staying in his house. Whoever that friend is, drive that person out. After miracle service, tell him in the name of Jesus Christ, I appreciate you. Three years is enough time for you to sit down. Get Koinonia messages 2012, 13, 14. It will liberate you. Please, out of my house. Sometimes you need to push some people into their breakthrough over pampering destroys hallelujah over pampering destroys there are times you need to get up and challenge yourself they send you money in two weeks you're already calling again laziness you won't do anything you hear that there is scholarship free there are many graduates many graduates you win is out they won't apply i think it finished today they won't do anything you said god told you you'll be an entrepreneur Huh? and you are not doing anything you've never gotten up to go for any seminar to build yourself you see a seminar you reject it you are not watching anything on youtube you are not going to sit and learn under people you are just sitting down bragging around with nonsense that's what a lot of young people are doing around huh? god blesses you with fifty thousand that can start something that can bless you you use it and buy a suit to prove a point to the people who are busy building their destinies they are not even seeing the point you must change this year in the name of jesus christ fear and laziness we are going to pray three serious prayer points the moment we pray these three prayer points the night will start with the sick people we we'll start ministering to the sick people as soon as we pray the three prayer points please begin to write your prayer requests while we minister those outside can you shout hallelujah one more time shout hallelujah 
the Lord will visit you in a mighty way in Jesus name praise the Lord rise up on your feet and let's pray success is not automatic there are laws there are laws this is our year of the rain God has spoken to us shown us the loopholes Lift your hands and begin to thank God for this word tonight. He that he loves, he chastises. Bless his name. Bless his name. Lift your hands inside and outside. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for this word. It has come to clean me up. It has come to purify me. It has come to challenge me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer point number one. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it like you believe it. In the name of Jesus. I receive grace to align my mindset to that of the word of God. Every thinking pattern every thought process that is not of God I challenge you in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray father give me the mindset of victory I'm tired of carrying ideologies some of us have ideologies about church we have ideologies about praying in tongues ideologies about the Holy Spirit ideologies about prosperity ideologies about miracles ideologies about responsibility about marriage that are antagonistic to the ways of God the first miracle tonight is to pray I submit my mentality I submit my thought pattern please pray Pray from your heart. I refuse to be limited. There is still a place for champions in life. There is still a place for the great. But you can never rise above your thought pattern. You can never rise above your ideology. You may have held on to it for years. It's time to probe your ideologies. It's time to probe your ideologies. It's time to re-examine your mindset. Let this mind be in me that was in Christ Jesus. The mindset of victory. I don't see defeat in my life. I don't see defeat with God. I am unlimited. With God, I am unbeatable. With God, I am a champion. Ay, 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 ay. Pray, rejoice not over me, my enemies. For though I fall, Yet I will rise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to challenge that spirit of laziness. Are you getting my point? Fear and laziness. Let's combine it together. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I challenge every spirit of fear for God has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore I declare that fear is banished from my life I refuse to fear and I challenge laziness from today I receive the grace 
to be diligent no more laziness it's time to take action lift your voice and begin to pray time to take action 2015 time to take financial steps 2015 time to take spiritual steps 2015 time to take intellectual steps go ahead and pray oh in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of fear fear of death fear of past failure every intimidation inside and outside pray pray i cause the spirit of fear i cause the spirit of fear i'm a champion i can make it i can break barriers i can break barriers i am well able i am not weak i am strong in the strength of the lord And I cause laziness. I cause laziness. Laziness to study the word. Spiritual laziness. Mental laziness. Physical laziness. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. As we pray this prayer point, my goodness, I already sense the power of God mighty way that's right as we pray this very prayer point the healing power of god will begin to move hallelujah i'm going to request those who are sick those who came specifically for healing you will find your way as hold on let's pray first before you come i'd like you to come believing that you will part with that sickness forever hallelujah the last prayer point say in the name of jesus Oh God, reveal to me the strategy for possessing my blessing. Reveal to me the strategy in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I cry. What is the strategy? What is the strategy? Come on, pray, Koinonia. I cry unto the spirit of wisdom. Show me the strategy for my prosperity. Show me the strategy for my blessing. Show me the strategy for my lifting. Show me the strategy to get the attention of my destiny helpers. Show me the strategy for the church growth. Show me the strategy for the expansion of my business. Show me the strategy for five points show me strategy for first class show me the strategy to pass the jump show me the strategy hey, yeah, 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 hey. show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny pray show me the strategy Oh yes, the strategy is revealed in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Make sure you are praying tonight. Show me the strategy to open me up to the next level of destiny. Show me the strategy. I'm tired of making mistakes. I'm tired of moving in circles. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I'm tired of marking time. It's time to break forth. Hallelujah. Begin to pray now and say, God, visit me. 
we are going to do the Holy Ghost will do a very quick walk very quick walk hallelujah those who are sick I'd like you to come up and line up here very quickly if you came here for the miracle service for healing please come and line up ushers help them coordinate them let's have it very quickly while that is happening make sure you write your request there is a mystery of answered prayer in this house make sure please if you have not written your prayer request start writing it i don't care what the situation is i like you to write it and let's drop it before god you are worthy to be glorified you are worthy oh mighty god you are worthy to be glorified you are worthy lord of you in front i know you came here because of the testimonies you have had i want you to know that your situation will not be different are you hearing what i'm saying i want you to believe in the power of god there are certain conditions listen to me there are conditions in this place that are entirely demonic hallelujah it's going to be a fast one i don't know if we'll have time to take testimonies or not but because there i i really i really really need to rush with time and let's do a lot please if we end late today i apologize in advance we'll do our best to kill time but please wait because god has something to do in your life hallelujah praise the lord father we give you praise it's called a miracle service we thank you for the anointing of the spirit in the name of jesus everybody make sure you participate now if there if you have loved ones who are sick you can connect you can tell them to connect praise the lord you don't need to come out for them but you can call them or do whatever and tell them look connect to what god is doing hallelujah we bless the name of the lord worship team help us praise the lord father we give you all the praise and we trust you to glorify the name of your son right now in jesus name go ahead please who brought this lady who brought this lady who came with her please if you brought somebody let's know please we are not faking it here what's what's wrong with her legs who brought her my dear look at me what's wrong with your leg huh? you what there is a wound in my leg my leg is swollen your leg is swollen i'm looking in the spirit and i'm seeing a charm look at me what what did you say you sat in what I woke up. So they you woke up and you saw your leg. leg. It's not a wound. This is a charm. In the name of Jesus, I break it. I curse it. Look at me. You've not been able to walk. I, I can walk. Okay, look at I me. Keep coming out. Look at me. Pause. It's coming out with pus. I curse it. Look at me. Just look at me. Keep your legs. Just look at me. Don't look at your legs. Look at me. Look at me. Not, don't look at the legs. In the name of Jesus, walk. Come. come. Just come. Don't look at me. Look at me. Come. Walk. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Look at what is happening. <laughs> See, she's even surprised. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Can you climb up here? Climb by yourself. It's witchcraft. Don't be afraid. Help her if she needs any help. Okay, come. Move your legs. Just do what I'm doing. Move your legs. Move your legs. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that power of witchcraft right now. I release that. Come on now, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. God is healing people in this place. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone that has orchestrated anything for you to fall into, 
in the name of Jesus Christ this night I command those powers to be broken in the name of Jesus my dear it never returns to you again and this veil that I see over you in the spirit I command that veil to go now in the name of Jesus Christ give God praise help us worship him please let's hurry Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. I'd like to know what, what really happened to him. Tell, you are the one who brought him. No, no, no. Talk, talk on his behalf. Let's save time, please. Um, said I have been sick since 1980. 1998. 1998. Yes. Is he hearing what I'm saying? He's hearing. Okay. Bless you, Daddy. Okay. Since 1998. What's yes. the sickness? Liver. Liver problem. Liver problem, sir. Sir. What What are the symptoms? What happens to him? Okay, sir. The belly was swelling. Okay. Mm. I'm going to pray for you right now when i pray for you that swelling will go down now now and you'll be able to walk in the name of jesus christ i cause that spirit you are a spirit answer to the name of jesus right now i command the swollen stomach to go down right now you see what is happening to you in the name of jesus the heat sensation you're feeling is the power of god thank you jesus heal right now sir please come because the devil wants to use this and put stroke on you um would you mind if, if i ask you to jump will you jump okay just just try go ahead go ahead just go ahead Go ahead. Just lift it as high as you can. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Go ahead, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's try. Just jump a little. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go. Ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now walk, sir. Come. Just walk as fast as you can. As fast as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. You are healed completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, awesome. by the power of the As soon as I stepped here, I saw this woman tied from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. Head to toe. And I'm seeing blood all over you. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. What's wrong with her? Um, suddenly, she just grows lean like this. Mommy, There's look no at me. Ache. You will not die. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Just hold it. Look at me. Just look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Now I cost this power. Kalabata Kotobaya. Let Mama go now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I cost that spirit. Let her go now. I lose you. What couldn't she do? Like Parkinson's disease. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. 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 Clam by yourself. Come. 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 Follow me. Just follow me, Mama. Look at this. Come on now, Koinonia. Give God praise. Can you lift your hands? See, she's laughing. Try to lift your hands, Mama. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Is it which of the hands can she lift? Okay, go ahead. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bring it down. Lift your hands. Come on, Koinonia. Give God praise. Give God praise. 
Jesus, in the name of Jesus, go ahead, go ahead. In the name of Jesus, I cause that spirit. My mind is released right now. Koinonia, give God praise. Let's celebrate what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that power. Come, I need to pray for you too. Your mother, right? I pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm seeing this thing. If I don't pray for you, it will affect you too. Right now, I cause Lord, He's a worker in this house. Therefore, I curse that spirit. You are the sister. Lift your hands. If I don't pray for you, you have problem with marriage. You are young now, but we need to pray. This thing is the whole family thing. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from this act of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation returns to this family. Go ahead and massage her let hallelujah please we are going to really really be fast as soon as we pray for you just give room usher start collecting the prayer request if you have somebody's picture as i come i may not be able to talk again and so we'll just lay our hands believe god believe god that the situation will change in jesus name my god is father careful although there is an iron in your leg in the name of jesus may there be a miracle i command this shorter leg to grow out now by the spirit of god madam look at me do you want to try walking uh -uh. i'm not asking you what you, have. you came here because you believe god can help you is that true you believe that Okay, as careful as you can, move your legs. You are, you are related to her? Come. Who are you? You are sister, madam? All right. Don't cry. Don't cry. Please. Come, madam. Do you feel pain? You feel pain because of the iron. It's difficult now for us to... But after I pray for you, can you talk to the doctors to look at your legs and look at the iron? They'll be coming on Wednesday. Okay, fine. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree. That as they come on Wednesday and check this leg, they will remove this iron and she will walk normally. Look at, look at this. Look at what the power of God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her have a seat. Please quickly, let's, let's save time. Worship team, help us. Let's not have... They will remove the iron, madam, and you will walk normally. In the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you. Yes, I need to pray for you, madam. Because as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing pains. I'm seeing pains. Um, like abdominal pains. And the Lord is asking me to minister to you. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. Jesus, 
do a miracle right now. I cause that pain by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please just line them forward. Let them just come forward in the name of Jesus. I don't need to ask you what the situation is. I really want you to believe that. Praise the Lord. I, I don't want you to think that maybe if I don't ask you, it means I don't give value to you. No. It's not even Such me doing awesome the miracle. God. Right? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Hallelujah. Please rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. We are going to cause every wicked power. Please listen. Hallelujah. Look at me. I told us that one of the benefits and the blessings of prayer is the ability to cause limiting powers. It's called a miracle service. And this is January. Hallelujah. We believe in the full gospel and everything Jesus died to give. Listen. Every power that has tied anyone's destiny down. It's time for it to go. Are you listening to me? Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Go ahead and pray and say, Father, every spirit that is not of God looming around my life and my family, please make sure you are praying that as the word of God comes now, there will be mighty, mighty deliverance. Lord, let there be deliverances. Break limitations over people's lives. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 The reason why the reason why we do deliverance is not is not working against the fact that Jesus says we are this and that and that, it is on the strength of that. The Bible says, although he has put all things under his feet, he said we do not yet know. I hear a lot of people criticize the ministry of deliverance and all of that. Um, while I know that there are exaggerations here and there, let me tell you something. The people of God must be subjected to the full weight of all that God's power and anointing can do. Are you following me now? There are people who have struggled here. You love God, but doors will just not open. Let me tell you, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I'm going to minister to people right now. I see an angel of the Lord moving, and a lady is going to shout. I don't know why God does these things. Under the anointing. When that happens... It's a sign that the Spirit of God is ready to move and deliver people. Lift your hands. Hear me, brothers and sisters. It takes the power of God to subdue principalities. And there are some of you right now, both for you and your family, there are forces that will not let you go. But this night, and right now, my goodness, there is the fire of the spirit at the count of three. It's not just a recitation. You're going to shout that name. The name that paid access for your liberty. Bring up, bring them out. My goodness. Deliverance is already happening inside and outside. There will be mighty angels. There is the sword of the spirit. Lord, let there be deliverance. Every family. Every destiny tied under any yoke of bondage, I invoke it in the spirit that at the count of three, those devils are under fire. One, two, three. Come out now. I command powers. Be gone now. I cause principalities. I cause spirits, I cause powers inside, outside. The angel of the Lord is moving. I command witchcraft. Bring them out. Spirits of ancestry. In the name of Jesus. 
the powers that have tied down men's destinies the forces that have refused to let you go right now i come with an apostolic anointing and in the name that is above all names let fire fall from heaven over your life over your academics over your marriage through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves lift your hands was he shouting one more time please bring them listen for some of you what will happen right now is not just for you alone but for your family just keep them down there hallelujah Malakata. and I see this affecting many ladies because I see marriage is being tied Makoto Tobakata Sheketelekaya as you shout that name Jesus you may not even know that that thing is in your family but all of a sudden physical fire physical fire will begin to burn right now on the count of three I challenge those powers one two three Go, 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 go. I cause that spirit. Delay, delay. I cause that spirit inside and outside. I command that devil of delay to go now. I command that power tying your destiny I command that power tying your breakthrough I command that power tying your family the price has been paid by the blood of Jesus I break every legal access by the blood of Jesus I break every legal access by the blood of Jesus I break every legal access by the blood of Jesus I release marriages I release miracles I command breakthrough fire is burning I command breakthrough I set those altars on fire I set those covens on fire hallelujah lift your hands where are those who have been oppressed academically lord where are they there are people who would have moved forward as i speak right now fire is coming on people fire is coming release the academics now release the academics now release the academics now 2015 the year of the rain I command those powers. I challenge them. They must leave. There is a family the Lord is showing me. You have been under stagnation for 10 years 10 solid years but as i prophesy right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i command that family to be released now i command that family to be released now i command that family to be released now Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names, I pray and I prophesy. The Lord is showing me men whose hands have been tied. And, and see, when your hands are tied, it means the capacity for favor and the capacity to move forward is not there. Lift your hands. Some of you will feel physical fire. Physical fire on your hands. There are chains burning. 
Lord, where are they? Let the sword of favor break them free from every oppression. Right now as I speak, anyone whose hands are tied in the spirit, I command those hands to be loose now. I command those hands to be loose now. The fire is falling, falling, falling inside and outside. Falling. I break the chain. My goodness, there are angels outside. The fire is falling. Chains of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one minute, lift up the exact situation you want God to change. Begin to talk to Him. Go ahead before prophecy comes. Please don't keep quiet. No matter how impossible it is, there is an anointing. Inside and outside, make sure you are talking to the Lord. This and that and that are my requests. Do a miracle. Some of you need a 24 hour miracle. Now all those here in front, in the name of Jesus, and by the fire of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three, not only will those devils leave, they must release your family members. I speak to every spirit. You know my voice. I represent the embassy of heaven. And in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will leave now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Go. Go. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this request. Your requests are there. Please, in case you've not dropped yours, locate it quickly to the ushers. It's not a ritual. There is a mystery of answered prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says how that Ezekiah took the request before God. The threats may be joblessness. It may be impossible situations. As I kneel upon this request and we pray together, just for one or two minutes, see, I assure you, I assure you, you will return with a testimony. Except you refuse to come and testify. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus.
every prophetic word I don't care whatever it is that you came here with. Remember last week we taught that words activate spiritual laws. Hallelujah. I want you to receive. For some of you, there will be an instant performance in the name of Jesus. I want to start by praying for families. Every family that has been in a state of stagnation, please lift your hands inside and outside. I'm prophesying now. Every family represented in this place in the name of jesus christ in this year of the rain i command that between now and next month's miracle service let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs By the agency of the spirit we activate every law that needs to be in motion in the name of jesus the laws of favor the laws of destiny help us in the name of jesus i pray anyone here who has been under any academic bondage from secondary school to master's phd right now in this year of the rain i command speed for you i declare move forward now move forward now make progress now move forward now in the name of jesus i pray for anything that has died in your hands business the works of your hands relationships in the name that is above all names let resurrection happen in your life now please believe what i'm saying believe what i'm saying god is changing people's situations this is how god changes situations by the power of his prophetic word i say it again whatever has died I speak to that which was dead. Come back to life now. I command every blood condition, whoever is standing here and you are SS, right now we change that genotype to AA. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause hepatitis be crushed to the root in the name of Jesus. We cause HIV. You leave God's people in the name of Jesus. Everyone here who has been oppressed by spirits, you sleep in the night and they oppress you. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring deliverance to you now. Ay, yeah, yeah. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit bring deliverance to you now. There are people here, it works for others until it gets to your turn. Then it fails. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command. That the last time that tragedy happened in your life the power of god is moving on this world moving strong on this world the last time it happened the mystery behind that tragedy i cost it in the name of jesus i declare that in this january between now and next month's miracle service what you could not do in the whole of 2014 may my god empower your hand to do it in the name of jesus christ i pray for every dying cgpa here hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus i command it to come alive There are people here, students, your true status is first class. 
but something has tied you down your true status is four points but something has tied whatever that something is i lift it off your life now in this year 2015 go back to your departments and break barriers in the name of jesus i pray for every business here whatever has stopped it from working in the name of jesus we command it to come alive now whoever needs to come into your life between now and next miracle service and open a door for you i call them forth now i call them forth now i declare whoever is jobless and looking for a job here or your family members in the name that is above all names where they said there are no jobs we create jobs now believe it believe it we create jobs now in the name of jesus christ whoever has been assigned by my father to favor you and has refused to respond to you in the name of jesus may the lord compel them to respond in the name of jesus i pray for your spiritual life whatever has robbed you of an effective prayer life every worry everything that has robbed you i command fresh impartation of prayer grace receive it now fresh impartation of prayer fire whatever makes you study the bible and you don't understand may the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now and i pray for you every habit in your life masturbation pornography and any other thing that is not of god that has robbed you of your christian integrity you love god but you find things pushing you that embarrass you right now i agree with you be delivered now i agree with you be delivered now hallelujah whoever is being eyed for death in this place that the devil has vowed that you will not see february miracle service i'm praying by the mystery of the blood i open that door of gate of, of death and i command in the name of jesus that your soul is ransomed from the gates of death in the forthcoming election you are preserved in the name of jesus whoever comes to destroy you will die before he gets to you in the name of jesus as you travel on the road you are preserved you cannot be a victim of accident in the name of jesus i establish the covenant of peace upon your life you are protected by the angels of heaven i declare right now that in 2015 living from hand to mouth that spirit of begging living from hand to mouth by the mystery of divine supply i bail you out of that wicked situation in the name of jesus i pray for you whatever you wrote here as a request right now i agree with you that it is turned into a testimony i say it one more time whatever you wrote here as a request i agree with you we turn it into a testimony by the power that turned the rod of moses into a serpent and back into a rod i turn what was here as a tell as a prayer request by the power of the holy ghost let it become a testimony in your hands in the name of jesus every factor that must be in place for you to stand here and testify i release it in the name of jesus i pray we pray for our lecturers every lecturer that has been victimized 
and any lecturer that the devil is eyeing to bury this year in the name of Jesus by the mystery of the blood they are preserved I'm speaking any position that belongs to any God fearing lecturer that is being truncated by powers of darkness we stand as the parliament of heaven in this city and we enforce compliance in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you if there is one thing that should happen in your life let it be indescribable favor 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 I prophesy it from the depths of my heart if you have never seen favor happen in your life you will see favor that will make you cry financial favor marital favor academic favor spiritual favor receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord thank you jesus hallelujah now you're here you've never given your heart to the lord jesus you've never made him lord of your life we're out of time please keep standing everybody let's honor these people you are here and you have never given your life to christ remember we said the basis for your victory is what jesus christ has done wherever you are or you have once given your life to christ but for some reason you found your life going haywire and you need to make your ways right don't say time is gone please wherever you are inside or outside you might be a new student you've been a christian all your life or you may be new in this town i pray right now that you respond to the call of god wherever you are you are returning to jesus or you are making decisions for the first time please make your way to the front be bold about it be bold about it i know god is talking to somebody don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person find your way to the front god bless you god bless you please make sure you celebrate them as they come celebrate them god bless you those outside no matter how far you are make your way to the front jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father if you deny me before men young and old make your way you are not too far don't let the devil say you are far make your way run to the front run to the front forget about your neighbor or who you came with it's a personal affair tonight hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands as i leave you to pray say after me jesus i believe in you i believe you died for me tonight i repent of my sins i obtain forgiveness and cleansing wash me with the blood of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that i'm a changed person the power of sin is broken over my life and i'll never be the same in the name of jesus now keep your hands lifted father thank you you brought this once to your throne may their decisions be genuine preserve them by the power of the holy spirit they will never be the same i break the power of sin over your life you have eternal life into your spirit and I hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching